A couple instant feedbacks coming in for Anthony. Ant, did Uh-oh. you distribute uh, cyanide tablets to your girlfriend in case they got <laughs> past you? Well, you know, you don't want the pain, so <laughs> and, and, bite down. And also someone wants to know why you don't have uh, night vision goggles yet. I do. <laughs> of course you do. I have a uh, night vision, uh, actually a monocle. It's a single, like, uh, telescope type a thing. Uh, and and it doesn't need batteries. Right. You, you press a button on top a couple of times, and it's good for uh, about three minutes of viewing time. And then you just press a couple more times, another three minutes. That way you can uh, see in the dark. Yeah, and you can check out the girl in the well in the basement. <laughs> Sociopath. <laughs> no reason to have that. Yeah, we should well, you've never wanted to see in total darkness? No. Why? For what? The lights are off. I said, for, I didn't give you a reason. I just, uh, is there any circumstance you could think where perhaps you would like to see in complete darkness? When I was five, I wanted to. I want to fly, too. But a lot I'm of things... still like, I'm, <laughs> I'm a stupid kid. We should uh, let Bob Kelly in on this. We're convinced Anthony's slowly but surely going crazy. <laughs> There's, there's just these little weird signs that pop up from time to time. What, owning nogs? I just, I, I, it's cool uh, to see that night vision. You can also get, uh, a video camera has them too. And you I get the night shot on there, but, but these are, I mean, this is much better than, than a night shot. And I bought it initially because I was going on a cruise. And I had a great uh, balcony on the edge of the boat. And people have sex on their balconies. So I, it was great to be able to um, Jesus. watch uh, <laughs> them on their balconies. Are you trying to prove your case? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just being honest here. How did you get you went on a cruise with with, with nogs with the with pre nine eleven sunglasses <laughs> with a monocle just a peek through a yeah, monocle no. <laughs> pre nine eleven. We'll let you on with anything. Torpedoes. <laughs> to watch other couples having sex? Who did you or, go on a cruise with? You by yourself? No, no, no. It, it, I just figured it, that was one thing. Another they wanted thing, to make sure there were no subs in the area. Another thing was cruise. not subs. <laughs> just looking out. <laughs> just looking out at the vast. Those Americans water in can front be of them. sneaky. <laughs> right, you man. A radar machine. You know, the Bismarck <laughs> went down, my friend. After he heard the Achilles Laurel story, he was going, Klinghoffer? There will be a Klinghoffer on this boat? I, I did take it. He's out on his deck initially just looking for subs. To look out onto the darkness of the water and see what that looks like at night and what's out there, you know. you got to stop at night. Video. And once but again, then, as I turned it toward the boat, I realized then there were people that were, you know, out on their balconies and you could see them and they couldn't see you and it was kind of cool. And, and once had, again, they had nogs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and once again, his girlfriend has to say, "What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what, she laughs. What are you she doing? It's hysterical. You gotta, she, you gotta stop. I'm looking video for submarines. Games. I got what? You gotta stop playing. <laughs> oh, you think it's coming from the video yeah, games? You know what's happening is you're playing like, uh, you know, Metal Gear Solid. That, uh, yeah, that's it. You're trying to be Snake. I'm shimmying up b- between buildings, yeah. and dropping down on people from cables. <laughs> yeah, you got a samurai sword. I love those video games. Oh. So calm. It's great stuff. A sub. He's building a, a sub. I'm looking for a sub. <laughs> He's pretty much Cap- Captain. Hi, this is Anthony Comia. I'm in suite 3423. <laughs> I believe I saw a U-boat off the starboard bow. Uh, Anthony, could you stop calling the bridge every five minutes with the U-boat sighting? <laughs> <laughs> Nude, laying his own sweat, yelling, Das Boot, Das Boot. <laughs> uh, did you see Das Boot? They can do a lot of damage. And his girlfriend just going, yeah, I know, honey, I, I know. know. I know, yeah. honey, I know. Um, Captain, I'm sorry. It's my boyfriend. Could you just give us room service and send the fruit platter down because I'm hungry and he's crazy? Yeah. You have to tell him, if you close your eyes, the boats can't see you. <laughs> You know, I never tell you what to do, Anthony, but when you yeah. do that impression that you just did, you might want to uh, do it as a female. Oh, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> I put on my girl voice. That's what I mean. I mean. Hi. Okay, Captain, we're sorry. <laughs> right, He's an idiot. Go. It sounded a little weird the other way. Oh, it's just my boyfriend, and Hi, we uh, ordered a fruit platter. Hi, this is me, Danny. Anthony took me on the cruise. All right. It doesn't have to go back I'm to holding me. hands right now, but he's scaring me. <laughs> oh, the, the gay high five. <laughs> oh, that's the easy part. That. that was the easy part, man. Uh, holding his hand through Shea Stadium was the tough one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no trip wires are going to my house, but I am getting uh, cameras so I can look into the backyard from you know. You're getting cameras in your house? Well, you got to put them in much, the backyard and I, and in the front he's door. Pretty much building a panic room. Can I can I tell you yeah. something? I'm really sure. what I, were you really? I mean, I'm kind of mad at you, <laughs> Why? Anthony. 
<laughs> What's the matter, you, Bobby? You friggin' MySpace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I I looked at it for probably around an hour and a half. <laughs> you had dumb edited photo you have video with you sneaking up on you it's very creepy Creeps. dude it's not even very creepy it's actually creepy it's, it's one awful. of the coolest videos i've ever seen it is the most make. requested thing i get uh, uh like how i did it explain and everything. it because this uh part of the show that doesn't know what we're talking yeah, about go to uh, myspace.com of course slash anthony kumia c-u-m-i-a c-u-m-i-a it's all one word anthony kumia and then uh <laughs> you'll, you'll get myspace and um uh i i have Pictures of me on there holding various firearms and whatnot. <laughs> I got my uh, me with my uh, AR-15, my shotgun, and just uh, various things, me at the range. And then there's a video I did that I put together um, on my Mac with uh, Adobe After Effects. It's kind of a uh, editing, video editing program where I, I was sitting looking at my computer screen through my, um, uh, my Paltalk camera. And then I come out from behind a corner of the house and come up to myself behind me and peek over my own shoulder and look at what's on the monitor. And it's very, like, creepy looking. It's very grainy. It's and the creepiest the ring, ever It's seen. the ring-looking kind of texture to it and everything. But you can't see that it's him. You see it's him sitting there, and he's smiling away, and his head's bobbing, and his eyes are blinking. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you see this figure in the back sneaking up. And then it gets right behind him, and you can see his arm, and it's it's real. And then he he like leans over and and and, and like looks at the screen. <laughs> it is creepy. And they're both blinking away, just like with <laughs> that that glare of the computer screen in a dark room. I had to make a. I had to actually write something out, and now I just copy and paste it because every day I get about twenty or thirty people that ask me what I use to do it and how I put it together because people kind of like doing things like that as a hobby. Yeah. It's a hobby. I like doing graphics uh, we're and stuff. We're just I, listening to you. It's okay. I love uh, getting on my <laughs> Mac, and, and I, I, I do a lot of things with the Adobe After Effects and Photoshop and stuff. It's a lot of fun. You have a bunch of like bookshelves with notebooks filled with neatly handwritten scripture <laughs> for what you're going to do to people. <laughs> Jesus. I'm hoping to install well, a green screen down in my basement. <laughs> to be honest, that's more me. But <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, yeah. I got tons of books in there, and they are filled. <laughs> We're crazy in different ways. <laughs> we certainly are. Opie's a little more covertly crazy. Yeah, you guys a little are... more overtly crazy, yeah. Put you two guys together, it makes a full serial killer. <laughs> totally, yeah. Much. Yeah. We got all the parts here for a serial killer. It's just in three different bodies. You need like an ONA ring that when you touch it together, we combine into serial killer man. You have the guy who, the, you're the, Opie's the actual smart, intelligent, creepy, angry. You're the guy who actually t does the murder, murders, and, and Norton's actually the uh, sexual deviant. <laughs> like, yeah. pulls, well. pulls the underpants off them when they're laying there. <laughs> <and smiles laughs> at, rips a lock of hair off the fucking the back of the head. <laughs> Cursed. Did yeah, I? You gotta watch that effing. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, see, uh -huh. see how easy and natural uh -huh. it is? I bet first dump of the day. <laughs> Robert Kelly oh, at 721. Uh, it'll said, say uh, F word. There said, you go. He said the F word. Well, my ears are not garbage cans. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. My young son is sitting next to me on the microphone. <laughs> we got a great story that we gotta get to here. Uh, the foot liquor. Have you guys heard about this one yet? Yeah, on the subway, right? No, at a Walmart. Ugh. Oh, Walmart. yeah, we heard this in the office. You got to hear the eyewitness. The this club soda Kenny and the stupid foot fetish. Uh, does he have a foot fetish? He, like, foot fetish? he likes feet. That oh, creep. Club soda Kenny likes feet? Yeah. I don't know if it's a fetish that's sexually, but he, he just told me, like, no, I like feet. And With that giggled. 70s porno mustache, after kissing feet, their toenails must be perfectly, <laughs> like, buffed. <laughs> like they've been on a buffing wheel. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, the story from this morning. A bizarre crime afoot in a Walmart parking lot. A woman in Oklahoma was loading her groceries into her car when she felt something licking her feet. <laughs> At first she thought it was a dog, but when she looked down, she saw a man on the ground. <laughs> I looked at him and I said, what in the hell are you doing? And that's exactly what I said. I said, what are you doing? He uh, still don't know what he was doing. Woman says the guy ran off. She called police. Why didn't she kick him in the face? <laughs> like, for, first of all, this guy's got some set. He's under the car, I guess. Right. Just waiting. He probably watches for a woman that he, he finds attractive with the right shoes, sees her car pull up. This is how I do it anyway. Uh, get, <laughs> gets under the car and waits for her to come out. 
when she comes is on. Yeah, she got put my night vision on if it's dark. <laughs> and then when she comes up to put the groceries in her, her car, she, she's got to step right up to the car, and he just takes a lick Ew. of her toes. That is a sick fetish, man. You remember my ex-girlfriend, Erin? Uh, she one time was coming to see me at the comedy cellar, and she hopped into a cab. And the Haitian cab driver, like, cause she, you know, she's a sexy maniac kind of crazy she's vibe She's crazier she's than not. a crap house rat. But she had on, she had, like, uh, nice uh, shoes on one time. And the guy said that, if he, that if, if he could take his finger and rub it between her toe webbing and smell his finger, he'd give her the free cab ride. And I'm like, did you? And she's like, yeah, why not? Who cares? Free cab ride. This dirty cabbie is rubbing his finger against in between her toe webbing and smelling his finger on the way down. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I awful would dump that. my girl. Was that? I would dump my girl if she did that. Oh, I didn't care. That is. Why? She's economical. Economical. Just she's just cutting just, corners. Absolutely. Saving. That's coupons. Coupon Except clipping. Coupons, it's dirty black fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Nick from, uh, actually, sorry, Nick. It's someone from their mobile device. ONA, psycho powers activate. Yes. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, back at the studio. <laughs> See, we don't need Frank Caliendo anymore. <laughs> we can do those voices. <laughs> Serial killer man. We need Norton in my gut. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Rory in Brooklyn. Rory. Hi. See, they told me it was going to work, and I said, hi. I know it's not going to work, but I listened to him, and I Rory. said, okay, I will try. Yeah. We're but I know it wasn't going to work. Maybe it was Rory's fault, though. No, because I have to do this. Now watch. Hi. Hi, Rory. How are you? I'm huh. great. How are you? I want to know what's going to happen to that boy. And we still have the same problem. Leg. Hold on, Rory. Stop. You're screwing the phones up, Rory. Talk right. What's up, Rory? I want to know what's going to happen to that ex-Kentucky Derby winner that broke his leg. Are they going to stud him out and, you know, make use of his uh, ding-dong or what? <sighs> This could be You're a... not killing yourself. Yeah. You're not dying, Sonny. You're That's... killing everyone around you. Killing everyone around what? you. You go to a bunch of crazy people with things on their heads. <laughs> Rory, is this your real voice and everything? It's me. It's me. It's really me. Well, were you? did you really... Let me ask you a question. Did you know Sonny was going to rob the bank? Because a lot of people think that you got the phone call that day and went down just because you knew he was going to rob the bank. <sighs> no, I was unaware, naturally. I plead the fifth. Mm. All right, well, the phones still suck. Thanks, and this could have been fun. All right, Rory. You guys Take care. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye, huh. doll face. Okay, huh. then. Are you smoking Parliament and some Misty's? <laughs> Misty. Slim and sassy. <laughs> Misty's. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than when I used to smoke and I had a bum a butt and it was like a Misty. A misty. <laughs> like you live over. I, I, like, I, I, I used to. I had no place to live, so I lived over friends' houses and stuff like that. And we were always just ripping off cigarettes from uh, mothers of whatever house I was staying at. And they always had like Virginia Slims yeah. and Misties. Benson and Hedges. <laughs> Just, uh, can I have a Marlboro, for God's sake? Uh, smoking a Misty. It's a toothpick. <laughs> you like this little thin. It was, it was slim ugh. and sassy. Ugh. You There's can't a... even smoke. The, the way you, they don't hand it to you, you have to actually open another man's zipper and take it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the pack comes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's a fly. It's like a Motley Crue album cover in 1980. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, 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 Blue, uh, Blue Angels. We were, we were supposed to talk about that before uh, yeah. getting to tell the things. Yep. It's a fleet week. Fleet week. Bunch of the uh, ships Guys, coming in. keep and, your women indoors. Yeah. Bunch of sailors roaming around town looking for sex. Looking to have a good time in New York City. But uh, the Blue Angels did a flyover Ugh, yesterday. You know, How can, can you say the Blue Angels stink? I'll tell you Stop why, it. Because I was here for September 11th, and when you're in the morning and all of a sudden you hear planes like 10 feet over your building, you get a little nervous. Yeah, you look, you see there are boys, yeah, you but... salute them, and go, Godspeed! No, you look and you see a formation of uh, military jets, it's and wonderful. you crap your pants. See, you're one of these people I was just going to address, because I saw uh, driving, driving uh, back to uh, the garage... Uh, and I saw uh, the Blue Angels between, you know, the buildings. Yeah. So I'm, they go by, like, incredibly fast, How do they of go course. by? How's it go? <laughs> <laughs> you play way too many video games. He really does. He's now living a video game. <laughs> Maverick, stay above the hard deck. Punch out, Maverick, punch out. You're in a flat spin. 
Poor Goose cracks his head. Stupid Goose. How great was that? I loved when Goose cracked his head on the canopy. Stupid head. And then yes. stupid what's-her-name crying. Where the hell played Goose's wife? Me, uh, Meg, Mel, Meg, Meg, Ryan. Ryan, Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. I was going to say Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Talk the about... Angels, by the way, spelled B-L-E-W. Oh, please. That's the gayest movie. You watch... When it first came out, I saw it uh, in the theater with a bunch of my friends. And we're just sitting there going, right from the opening carrier sequence. You guys were high-fiving? High-fiving each other. <laughs> holding each other's holding hands. Holding each other's hands down the aisle to get to our seats. Because <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't see in the dark. But it was we'd such, help each other out. It was such a <laughs> cool movie when you saw and I'm not it. talking about holding hands. <laughs> Bunch of men fishing into each other's pockets for goobers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, you, you watch it years later and go, is this a bunch of just homoerotic drivel? <laughs> They're all in their... Uh, in the locker room with towels on. I'll tell you who's the best. I'm the best. Ugh. Val Kilmer snaps his teeth. Right, snaps his teeth at Maverick. Uh, You're unsafe. <laughs> Am I? You should wear a rubber. <laughs> Am I? Un- should That's I? Exactly what he meant. <laughs> you should wear condoms. Am You're I unsafe? Un- <laughs> Am I unsafe? Take a look at this. Zip. <laughs> Doesn't even have to. He's wearing a towel. Just undo the towel. And just let it drop. Oh, wow, sure. Maverick, you are flying above the hard deck. You may be a better flyer than me, but take a look at my hog. Take a look at oh. this. You could be my wingman anytime. Take a look at this Sidewinder missile, Pally. <laughs> that douchey 80s dialogue. Oh, it was horrid. <laughs> Maverick. Maverick and Goose. Uh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, enough. The Blue Angels uh, in town. And they got... Uh, the the police nine one one was being tied up. Uh, they're getting all kinds of calls from people going. There's planes over New York. If you had any inkling of what's going on in the city, you would realize that it's Fleet Week. They're doing air shows. There 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 are military oh. aircraft around, and it's military aircraft. It's, it's fleet. You said fleet. Fleet. People think boats. If but, I saw a huge uh, aircraft carrier coming in, I wouldn't be disturbed. It was Fleet Week. There are things called naval aviators. Yeah, but who does that at 8 in the morning? Do it at 12 in the afternoon. It was in the afternoon. No. That's when I saw it. Uh, it was you know, wonderful. It, 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 by, the way, by the way, I got to cut in. Because scaredy the instant, cat. The instant yeah. feedback is rocking today. Liddy rules. Uh, right. It took you years to figure out Top Gun was gay, even with that volleyball scene. Look, all right. Even when I first saw it, that volleyball scene is probably the gayest thing. <laughs> all that's, right. that's hardcore gay porno. What was that? I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, when they had the volleyball game and all took their shirts off <laughs> and posed. They're doing these muscle you, man posing poses. For each I'll tell other. you what made it gay. This is what made it gay. <laughs> is that they were, not that they had their shirts off. Is that they weren't in shorts. They were in jeans. Yeah. They had their jeans, jeans their with shirts no off. tops. It was like a, a gay night And it club. was it was filmed in uh, with a high speed camera, so it's in slow motion. Whole motion. <laughs> it was motion. the gayest part of any movie, even gay porno. Whole motion. Whole motion. They filmed it in. <laughs> yeah, set me up for the spike. Okay, lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one, Flying Standby writes, uh, did Opie turn to Danny at the Mets game and say, you're dangerous and snap his teeth? <laughs> snap his teeth. <laughs> When he smashes his teeth, you're like, what the hell is that? That was the weirdest thing What ever. is he snapping at? Hey, let's go to Stu in New Hampshire. No teeth in the locker room? <laughs> Norton trying to do it. Stu. Norton. I want to snap my teeth at yeah. people. Hey. Hey, oh, the phones are working now. Good. Stu. I want to call Opie out for his dumb line a minute ago. Yeah, which one? He, he said, uh... Uh, he said to Maverick, uh, I'm a better flyer than you are. Don't you mean pilot? What's a flyer? <laughs> yeah, well... You know what, guys? That's a you little know, picky. Technically, he was a flyer. Something you That's stick underneath guy. a windshield wiper in a parking lot. <laughs> we have nothing written down. We're just improvising all morning long. Give us. We're winging words. it, man. Yeah, we're just yeah. kind of. Uh, we're, we're just we're winging just it, doing man. it on the pilot. We're all trying not to say the f word. 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 Yeah. Right. <laughs> How hard it is. So hard. A curse while you're talking about uh, especially when you start Top Gun. Going into like this gay topic, you just want to say. Oh, of course somebody, you do. Hey, I'm looking at Norton's face; his bottom lip just quivering. <laughs> you think the volleyball scene, by the way, was Tom Cruise's idea? I don't know. If if I recall, I don't believe Tom Cruise was topless in that one. He was. I think he, uh, he took his top off. 
Goose was the only one that wasn't. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, he didn't want to. Uh, what, what's what was the problem with Goose? Three well, Goose was what's his name from ER. Yeah. What was the problem? Anthony with Edwards. Thing? Three nipples. I'm thinking a way out of shape. Looked at uh, looked at the other hot gentleman <laughs> yes, and said, "I'm I'll keeping pass. I'm keeping the wife beater on at least." But thank you to. Uh, to uh, Homo Than for remembering him, that Goose had... It, it was Goose that didn't have his I'm shirt say, off. Tom had his shirt off. I, I'm going to say didn't. birthmark uh, the size of a baseball with lots of hair, like just off uh, the uh, side. Oh, you think that's it? A big, nipple or a big something. hairy one they couldn't cover with makeup. <laughs> right. The big German shepherd mole on his, <laughs> right. his, underneath his armpit. <laughs> yeah. they couldn't, he couldn't actually go for the ball. <laughs> hey, German <laughs> shepherd people would, Everybody kept throwing up in their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> At the test screening. <laughs> Can we put a pink tank top on him, please? <laughs> put, put your shirt back on. Uh, Miguel. What's up, Miguel? Yeah, what about when uh, in that volleyball scene when Tom Cruise goes to check his watch, check the time, he like does like a little... Like a little muscle flex there. It was the way every move they made, no matter how innocent. He's absolutely right. Tom Cruise goes to just check his watch because he's late with his gate, date with Kelly McGillis. So he checks his watch. It's in slow motion. And it's like he flexes his bicep, turns around. He, like, has to turn at the waist. And his other arm is kind of doing this uh, 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 curl. And he's looking at his watch. I I remember it like like it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, like he, like yesterday on the couch with your glasses on naked. <laughs> <laughs> My night vision. <laughs> what year was that? Like eighty eight. Yeah, somewhere around yeah, there. That's Maybe even right. before. I, I don't know. Hey, uh, Jason from Ohio. How about the scene right before Goose dies when they're singing "Great Balls of Fire"? Yeah. Oh, that was great. That was when everyone realized Tom Cruise could not sing. Or oh, the the other one where he's like. You never close your eyes anymore <laughs> when I kiss your lips. And then just no. you're starting to criticize little things I do. A Shut up. That movie was really awful. It really was. Uh, Popcorn stinks. I'm saying that like it's risky. Yeah, <laughs> I was saying, you're really out on a limb I'm there. A rebel. I was like, thanks for adding to the uh, like, topic wow. at hand, Jimmy. Raging <laughs> bull sucked. <laughs> now that's bad. making a statement. That's true. Very profound. I know. All of a sudden, I come in and just kill it. I that hate movie gun. stunk. Whoa, you know, easy, Jim. Biodome really didn't hit the mark. <laughs> right. I take no prisoners when I do radio. <laughs> you're edgy. You're just... right. I'm hey, on the edge, man. I take no prisoners. Hey, who's this? <laughs> Guy on phone, don't have name. What's your name? Go. Chris. Hey, Chris, what's up, man? Let's go, Chris. Uh, right when uh, Iceman turns to Maverick and chomps his teeth and says, You're on clips, and I don't like that. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was in the uh, outtake reel, the gag reel for the Christmas party. Why is everyone bringing it back to me at the Mets game? Because you were holding hands with Danny. And here's the beauty of it. Uh, is you didn't know it was Danny, so you had no shame. There was no irony in it. You were walking naturally, just holding his hand. You and they're probably like, that's open. I'll have to explain to Bob Kelly now in a second. Jo I, I, Josie. Did Danny try to catch a uh, foul ball without a glove, and you bit at him and said, you're dangerous. <laughs> How did you not know? Well, Josie writes, did Opie go to Danny? <laughs> you can ride my tail anytime. <laughs> <laughs> you share a little story on the show. And you can't move on. Of course Little not. Uh, Justin from Rockford, Illinois. They will not stop. Hey, Opie, were there any monster rain delays at the Mets game <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> and it goes over here. Let's go to Kevin in Virginia Beach. We're not even talking about what happened at the Mets game anymore. We're talking. Opie, yes. Did, did you did you break your knee at the Mets game? <laughs> Hold my hand, man. Hold my hand, Hold Danny. My Hold my hand. hand. Hold my hand, Dan. <laughs> Jesus. Well, now i got to tell Bob Kelly before the break. I Let's... actually heard it. Oh, you did? Okay. I heard, I heard right. you. Uh, All right. They actually slipped the move in. But I, how did you not know that your, your, your beautiful girl's soft hands didn't all of a sudden felt like the, like the bottom of a slipper? Grab Danny's, oh. grab Danny's uh, hand. You have no problem doing stuff like that. No Danny, problem. come here. Come here, Danny. Let uh, let Bob Kelly hold your hand. Again. Tell me if I should have. Again. <laughs> Still. If I should have noticed. But it's like it's Super Mario. BC, it's going to be But like, the mind played tricks. Like bricklayer. Put the coffee down. If we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Yeah. But the mind oh. plays tricks on you when you turn Keep around. Your pants up. When you turn around and grab your girlfriend's hand, you're assuming you still have your girlfriend's hand in your hand. Dude, I feel like I'm hanging I'm holding like rolled up quarters. His hands are like fat and, and <laughs> Oh great. Yeah, Bob. 
They, Couldn't help you out. Help me out one time. Doesn't Eight Lindsay penises. have thin fingers that are you know yes, but like ladylike? Your mind plays tricks when you turn around. Your mind and go, plays tricks. Yeah. When when you turn around and you grab your girlfriend's hand, you see yourself grabbing her hand. Now you turn forward. She's behind you. You're kind of dragging her along. Then you reach behind and grab her other hand. You're assuming you have her hand. You would have a defense if you didn't know Danny was with you. If all of a sudden he showed up and and, and I'm really into it because we had a really nice day together. <laughs> So I'm walking up the aisle in front of everybody because the, 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 the seats were so far down. And then I, I walk all the way up the row, assuming, because all of a sudden, Lindsay let go. I, and I'm assuming I'm still holding on to one of her hands. I just say something. Were you putting your, your energy into the... Oh, That's dude. what I asked. <laughs> it was, it was a, a little squeeze or a thumb rub. Because you putting love energy, well, like that orange light of energy, into, well, into like trying to, oh, can you feel that? Right. Yeah, yeah. Because when you Absolutely. hold hands with your girl, sometimes you rub with your thumb yeah. or you play with her pinky or he's, something he's like saying that. saying that I was, had such a great time. And sometimes when that happens with your girl, you try to make her feel that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the energy... The energy See, you touch with we'll a little squeeze. We'll do dumb things to each other all the time, but when you know it's happening, you're like, ah, whatever, I'll just I'll just deal with it, right? Yeah. But this I really believed I had Lindsay's hand. <laughs> and I'm walking, you know, well, once again, I grabbed her hand, I turned around, now I'm dragging not she's behind me because we're going George up, Lindsay. <laughs> we're going up a, a very narrow aisle at Shea Stadium from way down near the field all the way up. Yeah. So everyone could see you walking up the aisle. And then I reached back to grab her other hand because now we're like single file, basically. So I'm holding both her hands, really getting into it. Oh. She she has a great sense of humor, so she sees what's going on. Sold you right out. Well, no, because I never grabbed her second hand is what happened. I had yeah. I definitely had one of her hands. And I, when I reached back to grab her other hand, she's got a good sense of humor. Uh, Danny grabs my other hand. Oh. And she goes with it, realizes what's happening, and lets go. So now I'm assuming I got Danny. I uh, uh, got Lindsay. Ah, oh, yeah, great. Comes out. Uh, I'm assuming when I hold her. I'm, eyes. I'm assuming I got Lindsay's hand as I walk all the way up the aisle and then across to right. get to the exit. And yes, I'm really feeling the like, whole oh, way I'm... just holding a man's hand in front of <laughs> Shea Stadium. Shea Stadium. It wasn't like at a Broadway show or something. Without an ounce of shame or discomfort about it. Because I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. Someone, wow, someone was there at Shea, saw it, and actually heard you say, take me to bed or lose me forever. <laughs> <laughs> take my breath away. Take my tea cell. Away. <laughs> Take my dignity away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Hold my hand, I'm gay. <laughs> All right, it's only fair. Sorry. I did this to Anthony yesterday. I'll do it to myself today. Faggot! <laughs> yeah. Because there's, there's probably a part of you that, like, when you were walking up just feeling good, the price they got, it's never felt this right. Because <laughs> you're unsafe, Johnny Cakes. <laughs> no idea, man. I, I was, like, laughing really hot, hard and mortified at the same time when I finally turned. Oh, that so that funny. was just Danny. I'm like, that was damn I'm like funny. please don't tell me I've been holding your hand pretty much the whole time. He goes, yeah, you have. I'm like, oh. Danny, you know we're going to have to take you to a hotel room and beat you with a pool cue. Right. <laughs> what, what, you did, what, oh, halfway through the fifth inning, you knew it felt kind of Odd, but then you didn't even look till the bottom of the seventh. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you looked at Danny. It's a joke. Oh. He's just got, you know what it is? You got to have some kind of hair. Do you have any hair on your hands? Dude, you're not, you're not thinking. Not no, dude. He does. And you know, I'll tell you why his fingers, because I hold my. I, you know, There's no hair on his uh, Let me see knuckles. Dude, his fingers feel like. like Little circumcised penises, the little fat construction worker hands. But you're Come not out. thinking because you you turned and you saw yourself grab you know your girlfriend's hand. Right. Yeah. yeah those are hands just made for uh, for like yeah, Anthony, framing hold this out hand. a house. Hold yes. this hand. Anthony. I'm not even hold falling this into hand. this. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not. Just I'm not it. touching his hand. <laughs> you, just, you just rubbed it. Hold it. I hand rubbed it. <laughs> it wasn't his hand. Okay. <laughs> Go, oh, he's all limp. You do have some pudgy fingers he there. He does. He has pudgy fingers. He could open up any can with those hands. <laughs> Magic he was hoping to with the game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. It's becoming a rough morning for me here. Why don't we... Uh, we, never felt we have to take a break. We are so late, it's not even funny. We got Drew Boogie in studio. Uh, rock and rolling for us, doing some mixing with some of the sounds of the ONA show. And it's his birthday, so take us out oh. for a little bit, Drew. <laughs> All right, huh? That dumb fat ass falling off that uh, grape squishing barrel. Oh, love that clip. Drew Boogie in house today, doing a great job on his birthday. It's the Opie and Anthony show, the ONA virus spreading across America. 
Bob Kelly in studio. I have to wish a happy birthday to my friend, JGNYC from a message board we're not allowed to mention the name of from .NET, but he is a huge fan of the show and a supporter, so Ooh. happy birthday, Dolph. Happy Ooh. birthday to you. And uh, Bob Kelly's part of Torgasm. That's going to be on HBO. I got all nine episodes. I can't wait to check it out this weekend. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an advanced copy. It's the Dane Cook Project, Torgasm. Bob Kelly's going to be a star oh, yeah. in this thing on HBO. I've just been all night, like, burning off copies and sending them to my friends. Absolutely, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, remember that thing we talked about? We, we rent a little theater. We charge some money. People yeah. watch yeah, all they, nine episodes. You charge oh, a little money. You cancel the HBO subscription. Oh, you yeah, you don't even need it. They're oh. eating it up, man. They're eating it up. <laughs> wait a minute. Guys. Oh. Uh, hey. hey wait all the second. boys are blowing up at the same time, though. It's very cool to say. How very funny cool. is it? I actually said this to uh, Colin the other day. I was like, it's unbelievable. Jimmy has a show the same night. I have a show on HBO. I go, you're writing a show for HBO. Oh, forget. That didn't work out. <laughs> oh, he showed does up. Colin he, need that he abuse? Hung, he hung up the phone. It was four in the morning. <laughs> hung up the phone. Four. Showed up in my apartment with a <laughs> hammer with an, a pick on the end of it. I have a photo of it on my MySpace. I swear to God. He's, he came to my house to, <laughs> to smash me in the head with a hammer. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. There's a photo on my MySpace with him with him holding a hammer. I, I, I was laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> That's what he actually carries around to eat that fat. So he just clubs something and then opens it with the with the pick end. He really, he really you know what he looks like? Indigenous animal. He looks like a fat Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> I've never heard a man that has more descriptions uh, for him. Oh, he, With other celebrities, only fat. <laughs> he, does, he has a show called 224 that's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> fat bastard. He looks like the Queen of England every day. <laughs> oh, forget Ooh. it. Nice talking to you. Oh, oh you're uh, Here it comes. Do you have it over here? I don't know. We got it. There it is. Wow. Hey. I I I was I was gonna see how you were gonna eat that banana. Well, because <laughs> exactly. Let's go to Nick in Pennsylvania. Nick, it's very hard to eat a banana in this studio. I like the way Bob hey, realized up, how guys? far it was going down his throat and then pretended he gagged. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it bad that I spit on the end of the banana before I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Nick, what's up? What's up, guys? Hey, what's are, up? Man? Are you guys? Uh, are you guys going to play that clip of Voss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Come on, let's do that. Oh, yeah, let's do that right now. That's we do what the listeners hilarious. say. You know, I didn't think we needed uh, Tom Chiasano around or Mark Chernoff. We're running our own ship today. We're like an hour late as far as playing commercials. They usually pop their faces in the glass booth there and kind of give you the sign, hey, the panic time to take a break. Uh, they're not here. The hotline hasn't rung. Why aren't you breaking? Well, now that they hired us to save everyone's ass, <laughs> to save everyone's asses, it's great to know that they're, they're they think they're in good hands and they could take a Friday off. That's Holy the same crap. thing Are I you thought yesterday. Me? I thought, all right, everything's going well. We we really love the uh, the staff here. Everything's working well. They're supporting the show. But a mere month into this. They're leaving us completely unsupervised, and that has never worked. You know for that us. everyone in radio realizes that they hired us here at CBS Radio. We're on what uh, seven or eight uh, commercial radio stations. They hired us to save their asses. Everyone yeah, knows yeah. it in radio. They'll tell you. The industry knows. They'll tell you. Yeah. And uh, no, I think they're uh, they're taking advantage of us. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I think they're taking a, a risk. <laughs> yeah. That they're not here. That's crazy. What? That's crazy, people. So talk. they all took Friday off. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you could take a Friday off. We felt like we shouldn't take Friday off because we're, we're too uh, new into this. We've uh, been here a month. Too, too dedicated new into is the word. This, uh, yeah. this thing that we uh, took on. Yeah, let's think about it. We've been here a month. Tom's been here 20 years. I think he can take a day but off. But if we weren't hired, was he really going to make 21? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why would you leave this festering <laughs> disease? <laughs> was he really going to make 21 oh, years, Anthony? Jeez. <laughs> Who knew what this station would have become? I could give you a whole list of people that are going to be able. They're going to be able to celebrate another anniversary. <laughs> you know who <laughs> at CBS Radio? You know who Tom looks like? You remember in American Beauty? The Marine who tried to kiss Kevin Spacey at the end. That's who <laughs> oh you remind me of. God. <laughs> like I think I, he has a very distinguished uh, Tom Brokaw look to yeah. him. He's a handsome face. He's a very sharp dresser. Yeah. Is this the Dresses is, to the nines. Yeah. Uh, this the boss? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Snazzy dresser. The oh, guy he, dresses to the nines, man. Nice suit all the yeah. time. Fits him perfect. Yeah. The right tie with it. Like, I'm an idiot. The only time I wear a suit, it's a funeral or someone's wedding. Period. And they're awful. They hang off me wrong. 
Like, everyone gets a nice fitted suit. I'm like the rack guy. That's good. Give me the Bugs Bunny tie. People laugh at that. You always got to be on. I can't just be a well-dressed person. I suck. How about the piano keys? Do I wear that because it looks kind of jazzy. And, and then do you, do, you, do you play it a little like, eh, it's a yeah, little joke. Like, you know, like I'm in the Star Wars cantina. <laughs> <laughs> that again. I like the uh, bolo tie. I go with that look. <laughs> oh, Western. Uh, like Southwestern a little, a thing. a horse with a diamond necklace. Yeah. yeah. That actually moves around. A lot of turquoise and silver. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, let's play the Rich Voss. If you wear that yesterday. east of the Mississippi, you should be shot. <laughs> let's play the Rich Voss. Uh, thing from yesterday. Please, it was great. He went to pick a bagel yesterday. Yeah, we should explain because a lot of new listeners catching on every day here. We do two shows, basically. We do the first half of uh, the Opie and Anthony show from Free FM here in New York City. But it's one show. It's like a Twix bar. It really Opie. is one show. You can but... crack it in half and have two, but, we have but to... it's still one candy We do bar. do one show yeah. technically a day, but we have to split it into halves because mm -hmm. uh, we still don't know why, but we have to go to two different studios every day. So when the first half of the show ends around 8.50, we go into the lobby of this building here in New York City. Grab Danny's hand and make a walk. <laughs> no, that's no? We regroup, and then we're exclusively on XM, and we broadcast the walk from here to XM every morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, some days we uh, we get some fun radio out of it. Other days it's a bore fest. We understand that. <laughs> Other but days it's just yeah a walk. <laughs> it's just a walk that we broadcast. Uh, yesterday, once again, we had Rich Voss doing comedy. And yeah. uh, the first two times he did it at Starbucks's. Mm -hmm. But we ran out of Starbucks's. 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 Yeah, he, he did it at Starbucks's. Yeah, it's hard to... My foot thing on the foot. <laughs> right, exactly. Starbucks is. It's hard to pluralize with that. S at the end, you think you're going to quote it a loop forever. <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> Can I get cinnamon? We went to a couple of Starbucks. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> His first one. <laughs> Starbuckeye. <laughs> yeah, we went to a... His first one didn't go over too well. You don't think? No, the first one didn't go over too well. Uh, the second one he killed at the Starbucks. Is... And then uh, yesterday at Pick a Bagel... Huge crowd. Uh, his jokes went over pretty good, and his crowd work brilliant. Yeah. So uh, he did. He did. He did a good job. So here it is: Rich Voss doing comedy uh, at Pick a Bagel. Picks because is a bagel, is it? <laughs> Yesterday morning. <laughs> Listen to this. He's got balls to do this though. To just walk does. into an establishment like it's a comedy club and just starts going. We got uh, Kenny's intro. I think so. Yes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pick a Bagel. Coming to the stage right now, your first People comic. are shocked, by the You're way. You're really going to love them. They think it's You'll a robbery. You'll see last comic standing. Give a warm welcome to Mr. Rich Voss. Thank you. Thank you. A big hair for Kenny, huh? Look, at, I'm working out some new stuff. I got a big audition today, so I need everybody's attention. I'm a little... Don't go anywhere, sir. I know you don't work. I'm a little <laughs> depressed, folks. We just put my grandfather in a rest home. Well, not actually. We didn't have the money, so we drove down the turnpike and put him in a rest area. Thank you. Actually, he just passed away. He died of a heart attack. He would have made it, but he was dyslexic, and he dialed 119. 119. Oh, come on. These are good. Hey, Mom, uh -oh. turn your head, Mom. Look at these hotties right here. I got some stool softeners in my car. <laughs> I love a lady in a walker. She's already bent over. Anyhow, do the teeth come out? What's your name? Holy shit. Fred? Oh, great. Are you married? What was what was Lincoln like as a president? He's cute. Look Having at this guy. He's doing a threesome with these people. two. Oh, my God. His hair is white. Anyhow, I, I just got back into town. I landed yesterday. I'm at the airport. I hear over the loudspeaker. If you see anything suspicious or unusual, contact the authorities. And right then I saw a black guy leaving a tip. Loosen up. <laughs> Listen up, folks. This is all I got. You having a good time? Usually Wait. you're hiding behind a tree. Anyhow, she's a little Asian girl. Look at her. Listen, hey, well, how you doing? Look at this. Smell his finger for gunpowder. Well, we don't know. We know you. You probably tunneled here. Anyhow, he's working the crowd. Is this a good set? Folks, bagels on me. You guys are a good crowd. That's not a bad set. Very good. Very Boom. Good. <laughs> good night. I'm going back to Starbucks. This place sucks. Close the close the show, Kenny. Close the show, Kenny. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear. Give him a hand, Rich Boss people. Give him a hand. 
<laughs> there you have it. Rich right. Moss on the streets of New York uh, yesterday. It was actually one of his TV sets. <laughs> really? Yeah. Maybe it wasn't as good as I remembered. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, you were painting it like it was this moment of improv. <laughs> that we, thank God, caught on audio. From national TV to pick a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> not even video, audio. <laughs> I know. Is that awful? The hell of a step down he took. Last, oh, comic, like... last comic falling. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, listen, we got to catch up. Uh, people yeah. can kill us, but yeah, we have to. We have to. But at least we're here working today. We could have taken today off. Oh, so. Yeah, we could have. So bear with us, please. I wanted to take off today. Yeah, obviously. No, 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 I never <laughs> oversleep. I had, I was. Yeah, obviously. Half, right. day, half day, Jim. <laughs> Half day today. <laughs> you know, when a friend is down, you don't kick him. You help pick him up. Yeah, whatever. O and A virus spreading across America. Drew Boogie, hit it. Every day. Come on, he's the real deal. Drew Boogie helping us out today, scratching live with some of the sounds of the Opie and Anthony show. The O and A virus spreading across America. Happy birthday, Drew Boogie. Holy crap, Bob Kelly in studio. Uh, Jim Norton uh, is playing the Stress Factory all weekend long. Only show left. We added a show Sunday night, the 10.30 show, uh, or 10 o'clock, whatever it is. There's probably about 60 tickets left. Uh, 732-545. sticky. Ha ha. So if you want to come down, Ugh. and our awful Nathaniel will be making an appearance. Oh. All right. Very, oh. very, 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 very good. Give Jeffrey Ross something for his fingers. What's the matter, sweetie? What's I don't know. Touch? He, he's, he's moist. He's into something moist. Wait, did you reach oh, under the... Yeah, you reached under the console. Under the desk like you used to do in school? It's completely <laughs> stickied <laughs> up his oh, hands. Got, what do you got, Artie Lang's firm in this place? <laughs> What's going on here? It's, uh, Howard Spooge on this and leave it here? There are some leftovers that we don't know what it is that you just grabbed onto. Yeah, they probably don't. Thank God that you got your shots from Iraq. You know what it is? I apologize, dude. I was coughing into my hand for a few days, and I would just kind of hold it up. Yeah. Oh, just, just wipe uh, it under the console. It's, ju it's just Jimmy Flamin. He's a healthy boy, so yeah. it should be all right. Oh, of course he is. But uh, I, I think Brazilian they might have hookers with I think no, they might have dumped, no protection. I think they might have dumped out. Jeffrey Ross, uh, you know, joining the program, he reached under the, the console, and, and it's all sticky and gross. And, yeah, it's very And gross. then your comments about what it was probably got dumped out, unfortunately. Because it was very funny. Because this now, I'm used to being on satellite. I know, right? I know, you guys, see? Thank you for uh, for uh, for uh, sending me that radio. That was a huge gift. I listen to it every day. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I'm a long overdue. Thanks to you guys. All right, really, on, man. I work out with that radio. I love listening to you guys. It's showing. Why well, huh? you finally got? Yeah, it. you look thinner. Oh, thanks. But then again, you're doing the up and down stripes that make you look thinner, too. Make you look thinner. I'm on the view. Nice first backhanded person. compliment there, Opie. And he carries Opie. mirrors with him. I'm the first person in the history of show business to do your show and The View in the same day. Oh. You're doing The View or yeah. later on? Yeah. Wow, look at that. I'm surprised because you always said you thought that like Star was a fat dyke, so they let you on? Oh, jeez. Well, I never said she was a dyke. I'm kidding. I meant fat like P-H-A-T. <laughs> this is I'm fun bad. looking at Jim to the back of my head. This is really... Yeah, yeah the, the setup stinks. <laughs> well, the, well, it was set up for the... It was set up for the Grand King to be in the middle. Yeah, it was set and up... And all of his subjects, it didn't matter where they were. It was set up for Howard and his massive ego... Yeah. God forbid anyone else gets attention in this studio. Jeffrey Ross was telling me, and I'm not blowing up your spot, trust me, because I asked him. And Jeffrey goes, well, when I used to do Howard's show, I had to sit way back over there. I'm like, behind Howard? Would he at least look at you? He goes, yeah, he would turn that way, but it was always strange and awkward. You could never make eye contact, like, for timing, you know? You had to wait till someone stopped talking and then talk. And then you start talking, like... Oh, sorry, I didn't interrupt. You. No, no, but that's how it is, though, right? Like you yeah. try to talk, and then yeah. someone else talks. You're like, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. But the moment's lost. I you put your hand up and like. You know, we're in the honeymoon stage with CBS, but eventually, you know, I, we might as well say it now. You're gonna have to rebuild the whole studio here for us. Uh oh. Well, because it's still built like you know how it was when Howard was here and his dumb ego. Our uh, our studio over at XM is is flat. Like we have a flat granite top. With mics sticking out of it. It's a round table. You don't know who's yeah. in charge. We like it the that round way. round table. You look around. It's like, is Anthony in charge? Is Opie in charge? Is Jimmy? You don't know because it's be, a round table. Don't be polite. No one says it's Jimmy <laughs> yeah. in charge. Well, I was just trying is to include Jimmy you. Jimmy in charge? <laughs> Actually, it's pretty obvious Jimmy's not in charge. He has no equipment in front of him. I have Anthony and I paper. have like four or five panels of screens and, <laughs> and keyboards. He has a yogurt leg in, lid in front of him. <laughs> That's all I have is a yogurt I leg, see, like I Bob would say. Damn it. <laughs> yogurt uh, leg. No, no, yogurt leg is fine. And I, and I, and I want to get the sound machine that they promised me. I mean, that's No, you're not getting a sound machine. I want one. 
we have all that in front of us. You're right. It's pretty uh, it's <laughs> pretty bare in front of Jimmy every day at XM. That's why the console's sticky. <laughs> no. Hmm. All right, here's the deal. <laughs> Jeffrey Ross, four stars in the New York Post today. Wow. Out of ten. For what? Really uh, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a four, actually, four star, which you never see. That's for what? His uh, stand-up? For, uh, for a roast, perhaps? No. Uh, no. 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 For, for a film, basically. For a film. And I got a, a beef with you. You what thanked him. You thanked us for the XM radio, right? Yeah. I don't thank you for the advanced copy that you promised me. Oh, well, I don't have them yet. They're not on DVD yet, but in a couple of weeks. No, you you had it when it was playing at the film festival, oh, and, really? I, and you were supposed to send one my way. I was I was really into checking this thing well, out. We gave you a good excuse, and you call him right back out on it. He uh, re-raised you. I, <laughs> know. I don't forget. That's why I was really looking forward to a copy of this. I'm sorry about that. I'll make it up. To, and now I'm up. I'm seeing in the post today four stars for this thing. It's not yep. on DVD yet. But you no. had a copy or something because you were going to give me. I walk around like an open micer, handing out DVDs to my. <laughs> yes. Stuff. Where's Rich? Those oh, days of Voss Richard, is in here. I, I hire Voss to do that for me. Well, of course, we're talking about Patriot Act, a Jeffrey Ross home movie. It's going to be on Showtime Sunday at 8 p.m. Yeah. I'm, I set Thank my DVR you. ready. I can't wait. Thank you, Ben. I, I really can't wait. appreciate it. You know, and I've talked about my experiences on these USO tours on your show a few times, so I really got to. Thank you guys for letting me do that. It, all this hard work is starting to pay off. It's amazing stuff. It's uh, it's you going over there to entertain the troops, and then uh, there's uh, little things there like you almost dying. Yeah. That's a good one. My hotel was mortared. When, your hotel was mortared. At least that's what I told him when I checked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I saw a, uh, a little clip for it on Showtime, and uh, they showed you... In one of the hospitals with an IV, I just know. looking like crap. I put the trailer up on my MySpace, and every time I look at it, I f feel that way again. Yeah. It's so hot there. You know, Jim knows. It's like 125 degrees, and you're trying to not be anxious and nervous and sweating, and sometimes it just gets to you. It's really tough over there. you got to give it up to the and boys. And you wonder how those guys, you know, they're humping a lot of equipment and stuff. What were you, you know, they're you were probably wearing cloud just... formations. <laughs> <laughs> You know what it is? While while a lot of guys are here enjoying the freedoms that we provide for them, we're over there taking care of business. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, was care of business. Business. I was over there too, guys. I forgot. I oh, hey, here it is. Hey, he man. was entertaining the insurgents, so you can't yes. go by him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robert how about Kelly. those roadside bombs, people? <laughs> he looks like Alzar Cowie's third bodyguard. <laughs> so he had no problems getting in and out. <laughs> he knows he's safe because no knife could get through that neck. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them have to lift his head. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'd be finished with a pocket knife. You really would. My little spaghetti uh, neck. They would use a use popsicle stick to take your oh, head off. They take a nail clipper. <laughs> <laughs> the infidel is dead. Yeah, they would just twist your head like they do with a like you do with the a fingernail when it's coming off. You have to twist it and then it just pulls off itself. Oh. Wow. So you got to do that the right way. Yeah. Or you get a thin. Red stripe all the way up to your elbow. Yeah, you pull it. <laughs> Ow. You just unravel like a mummy. <laughs> I, I want to read some of this review for Jeffrey Ross today. New York Post four stars. And, and the New York Times is giving it a good review, too, right? Yes, sir. That's great. Uh, I've never heard of these papers. What? <laughs> the best documentary to emerge so far from the Iraq war comes from an unexpected source. It is comedian Jeffrey Ross, a sad sack with a high-pitched voice and a face like Walter Matthau's. What? Oh, you know, wow. Can they not just... They can't just <laughs> they give, can't you just give you a your compliment. I just, you guys who showed it to me when I came in, I didn't even, oh, They describe God. you as a sad sack. Sad sack. With a high-pitched voice and a face like Walter Matthews. Imagine, what a, imagine what, a, what a bad review would sound like. I know. No kidding, man. <laughs> Paul, well, the Post just stinks. They call us now dopey and pervy pal. Yeah, pervy pal. You they don't even sack. try rhyming anymore. You sad sack. Jeffrey Ross, a bag of prostate cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but he put together a good film. God knows how he did it, being a blithering idiot. This lumpy douche. He's been around for years and is perhaps best known for his participation in the Friars Roast. And now he deserves to be best known for something else, his personal videotaped account of a trip he made to Iraq to entertain American troops. The film he made, titled Patriot Act, a Jeffrey Ross home movie, and running just an hour and a quarter... Hour and 15 minutes? Hour and 17 minutes. Hour and 17 minutes reveals that Ross is an observant, as observant a journalist as he is a comedian, something he might not even realize. Ooh. Nice. Did you realize that? Not, not until um, I came back. 
Did you realize you're a sad sack? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew. Dude, I actually went Felix over there. Say when you showed him the movie. You know, I obviously went over there to do a job to do stand-up shows, but while I was there, I was sort of shooting home movie and and just sort of as a tourist almost. And it wasn't until I was halfway through the trip that I realized I was seeing stuff that it would be hard to explain to people. And I just kept shooting, and over time, the footage and my emotions took form, and it became a movie. The You'd funniest movie ever to come out of Iraq. <laughs> Is, that, is there a lot of comedy in it? Yeah. It's that, very funny. Because I wasn't sure if you were serious right there. No, yeah. I no. mean, Iraq funny. Even know. with the, uh, you know, because it's a pretty tragic place. Uh, oh, I'm like right about now. Uh, Iraqi bellhops at the Al Rashid right after it gets mortared. <laughs> did you Trying did to you, press him to see if Colin, uh, what's his name, Colin Powell is a good tipper and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> did you shoot it yourself or did somebody shoot it for you? I brought a $600 camera like we all have the night before I left and I just shot it. You shot it. I'm behind the camera through the whole movie talking. This it. review is really unbelievable. So he ran a camcorder for, through Throughout the entire trip, and later created this documentary, which is as touching as it is hilarious. Wow, that's not, that's that's. I can't really believe good. it. I'm getting goosebumps. Sounds He's, like mash. Sounds like you did something well, like mash. It, it came, it's a mush. <laughs> well, the interesting Sorry, thing it. is, the creator of Mash, Larry Gelbart, the night before I left, I I went by his house. Sued you? <laughs> and I, and I, and I, I spit in your face. I asked him for advice, and I showed him the secret itinerary that I had only gotten that night. And in the movie, whenever the chips are down, like when I go to the medic's office or when the hotel gets mortared, Larry Gelbart pops in with some words of wisdom. He's very funny. Oh, really? Very, very That's prolific cool. guy, yeah. And are you narrating through this, or is uh -huh. it a lot of audio as you're shooting, or do you later, you like... Both. Both? Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. You're going to love got, it, man. I know. I, I uh, Believe me. I, I cannot love, wait I saw to you with your this. guns. You're going to love this thing. Any of the documentaries coming out of there, um, I'm hooked on. A lot, of people, watching them. a lot of people asking if it's going to be on DVD eventually. I, uh, July 11th. Oh, very cool. Uh, just two more things from the review. It's a long review, but uh, two more points here. It's, it's hilarity stems from Ross's running commentary throughout the film and the performances of the comedians before appreciative crowds of servicemen and women at bases and camps all over Iraq, some of them on the frontier and within range of enemy mortars. And then finally it says, the touching part is what uh, Ross learned. I'm starting to get why Bob Hope did this for so long, because these were the best crowds I ever performed for, Ross uh, says as the film's conclusion. Uh, every single GI that I met yanked me. Uh, yanked me, Jesus. Every single GI hey, that I met thanked me for coming. Audience. Well, easy there, Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> every single GI that I met thanked me for coming, but I should have been thanking them because if anyone got a morale boost, it was me. Nice. That's. Jeff, Jeff yeah, the guys did. obviously very appreciative uh, of the people that are going up there. It changed me, and Anthony. It changed me. I was so yeah. cynical. These guys, you guys know, I changed me. I'm, I'm a lot less cynical. I'm more patriotic. Probably a better person for it. They're all, really? They just want to shake your hand. They thank you for coming. They just, they just great man. They're so happy you showed up. Did it up. change your view on the war itself? Because I know a lot of people have an opinion of the soldiers and the job they're doing, and and a lot of times that's very positive. There are a few idiots out there that don't realize, you know, that these guys are over there doing a job regardless of the circumstance or who sent them over there or why. Uh, but did it change your opinion uh, on what we're doing over there? It enlightened me to a, an opinion, which I never had before. An opinion, I was always yeah. aloof, and I never cared. And I always confused the military with the government. I didn't even realize there were two different things yeah. as a kid. And it, it only in retrospect and seeing how the wars played out and meeting the soldiers and seeing the sacrifices they make, I realize that you don't necessarily have to love. When I was a kid, I loved the Yankees. I hated George Steinbrenner. You don't have to love the owner of the team to, to root for the team. Yeah, and true. I never understood that before. And I really have a lot of love for the troops. There's a lot of. It's very mixed, diverse, as you guys know. It's a lot of women in the movie, and, and I had no idea if you switched all our clothes around and put uniforms on, we would look just like the people in the movie. It's yeah, like regular Americans. And I always thought it was like. You know, the Marines you saw in Fahrenheit 9-11, like crazy, revved up, like jocks. It's not like that. The regular army looks like regular any, people. Yeah, any documentary I've watched, you usually really, you watch these guys and you go, God, where's, you know, where's the Rambo guy or this mm -hmm. one? And they're just guys going, hey, I'm just trying to live through another day and, you know, make a, it home. And I met a 21-year-old girl, Shannon Holm, the first woman ever to win a Purple Heart paratrooper. And she complained it didn't come with matching earrings. 
<laughs> but for real, but for real, there's a lot of tough broads over there. You got oh, to give God them damn. big props, big props. Well, I, I heard that. Are you going to say that on the View? I, I, <laughs> a lot of tough broads over yeah, there. Yeah, tough yeah. broads, like right in here. What? Joy Behar will put her fist in my face. Why don't you point at Star and go, you know, it's funny, even over there, surprisingly, the blacks pull their way, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was listening to Ron and Fez the other day, and they were talking about um, uh, that uh, Baghdad ER. Yeah. Have you seen that? My my movie's Baghdad. Ha ha. Ha ha. See, little play on it. And, I haven't uh, seen that movie. It's no. very it, it's very disturbing. It's you know an ER in Baghdad, so they're showing a lot of butchery that goes on uh, over there until they could stabilize people and fly them out. And Ronnie brought up a great point of how it's this seems to be the ignored war. It's a war that is going on. People are aware of it. They see like things in the paper about it. But for the most part, people are over there. They're getting killed. They're getting wounded. Uh, you know what? What now? No, Eighteen thousand uh, people have been wounded over there. Maybe nineteen. Uh, uh, well over two thousand dead. Uh, and and it just doesn't seem to sink in with the people because the second it's brought up in conversation. Uh, it instantly turns into a political argument. So people are so sick of it, exactly. of going like, you know, hey, you know, how about these, these guys are over there fighting and they're doing that? Oh, what are you, one of those uh, liberal uh, this guy or, oh, you Bush supporter. Uh, this, uh. You can't discuss the war without having to get into this liberal conservative argument about uh, politics. It's not a war, though. That's the one. They said the war is over. So there's no war. They're yeah. actually yeah. supposed to a war. I know there is, yeah. but there's no war. That's why, you know. I mean, but it's ignored, and, and people are coming home to, you know, to occasionally nothing, I nothing. go down the expressway, I go home, I'll see a sheet hung up with Welcome Home Sergeant yeah, that's you know, all get. Smith, Pathetic. and that's what Some they get. Some sheet there's hanging nothing. over a highway somewhere. There is no recognition that these guys are getting when they come home for fighting this, you know, because whatever. Because it's been going on for years. Right. It's not on the front page anymore. It's on page no. six, then page seven, then page eight. Now, it, going into Memorial Day, people, it's just like a little blip on the ra on the media radar behind right. American it, it Idol amazes and immigration. Me. I think one of the reasons for that, this is uh, speculating in World War, and again, I think this happened with uh, Vietnam too. Is when people don't see what you're doing as defending the country, right? Uh, and I'm very pro true. I'm just saying this is I'm, this could be a reason why people look at it that way. Like in World War II, uh, they attacked, um, and, I, and I think when people don't view it as a direct defense of the country, they either become resentful or indifferent to it. But this has been completely just just ignored. Which is uh, just the oddest thing that they're human beings. These guys and women are over there just dying, and you know they. One of the, one of the things I know you have nothing. to take a break. One of the things points we can make it after the break, but my, these USO trips aren't about politics; they're about people, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things I make clear in the movie. I don't take a side. You know, yeah. the one thing I did learn from the soldiers is teamwork. And the, the sooner, like you're saying, the sooner that people can stop arguing about why we went to war, the quicker we'll co start coming together on ways to make yeah. history. That doesn't mean how you finish it. I'm not being political. I'm just right, 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 right. People keep arguing. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Colin got me so good. We were over there. There was a bunch of like these warthog, war, warthog uh, pilots, these A A10 pilots or whatever A1 it's called. And uh, Colin's got like he's talking about like you know freedom of speech, and he goes, you know, you guys are out there fighting because like you know Jim here, he's really against the war. He doesn't believe what you guys are doing. <laughs> You're fighting. Oh, he did the same thing to me. Well, he did the break. same thing to me. We walked into a marine base. <laughs> With around 20 Marines, and he walked in, he goes, listen, you know what? He's, he doesn't believe in what you're doing or the war, but he's here to do comedy anyways. So oh and then God. he walked out. He got me even better. We'll tell, I'll tell you Yeah, after. please. Let's uh, tease that. Uh, Jeffrey Ross in studio. Funny. We're all going to be watching Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. on Showtime. It's called, once again, Jeffrey. Uh, Patriot Act. Patriot Act. Very, very good. It's the only virus spreading across America. Here's more Drew Boogie. Yeah, other wacky, googy stuff. Very nice. Drew Boogie in studio scratching some of the sounds from the Opie and Anthony program. The only virus spreading across America. We got Jeffrey Ross in studio. Hi. That was uh, that was some audio from our first broadcast together, Opie. That we still haven't played we for everybody. We haven't played because it is such a douche chill, embarrassing <laughs> tape. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? Uh, what was that sound, Drew? That he wacky, kooky stuff. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, other 
a wacky, kooky stuff over here. <laughs> I was doing an impression of a hack jock. Uh, the first time Anthony and I, and I worked together, I got the tape, and one oh. day we're going to play the entire we, show. We've gotten through maybe two minutes, maybe two minutes of maybe it. Maybe two minutes. And, and we both had a bailout. It is so embarrassing. Why? It's so you're both so happy to be there. No, o- Opie's like, sickening. Opie's the consummate professional. He's like, uh, he's been in radio for years. I was the newbie, just happy to be there, and I'm trying. I'm so eager to please oh, man. that I'm over the top. And and to, in order to even calm my nerves enough to be in that studio, I had to pound beers before I got in there. So I was like all kind of wasted and drinking a lot of coffee and be. Hey, Opie, what do you think? And Opie would like mention anything in the news. Hey, uh, you know, you hear about the the plane that flew over the White House? The plane flew over the White House. <laughs> <laughs> I got what, well, what are we gonna do about this guy? Just throwing out too many impressions, too fast, too I, eager. I got plenty of douche chill moments myself. One uh, day we're gonna play it, but we gotta no, get the right not. guys in. We gotta uh, get. I mean, Jeffrey Ross would be perfect. Oh, All the guys me, in I the know. Yeah, would be perfect actually. Yeah, and Patrice like O'Neill and I Colin don't need Quinn. The and we'll just sit back and let these guys just beat the is crap your, out of us. Is your voice a little higher than it is now? Oh, oh yeah, a little it higher. Hey, it's Opie with the nighttime <laughs> attitude. <laughs> I was fourteen. I mean, give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Mariah Carey. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good, actually, Jimmy. I like that. Yeah, right? She hits the highest notes in music. Uh, yes, no. very good. Uh, Jeffrey Ross uh, in studio. We're we're doing another thing. We're doing another plug here. It's hard to believe. Is there a lot of wacky, kooky stuff on this? <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. Wacky, kooky. I'm catchy. I'm flashy. We're the morning guys. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I've heard I've heard about a couple of your jokes early on in your career, my I friend. Good. I was good. No, there was one about a gorilla. What was the one? Norton. Oh. A, you? a monkey. Well, what's the joke? Come on, tell me. Tell us. Is this the uh, is this the Ben and Jerry's ice cream one? Yes, uh, yes, the Ben and Jerry's ice cream joke. I thought it was really funny to make fun of rich people, so I said something like I was in Connecticut because that was the rich area. Yeah. And uh, I had ice cream, but what? Are they, uh, they don't call it Chunky Monkey. They call it Obese Primate. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> No, that's, no that's good. that's six months ago. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you rub your head. And it's on your HBO <laughs> special. By the way, if you uh, enjoy that joke, Jimmy, we'll be at the Stress Factory uh, all weekend oh, long. That's right, but don't tell anyone. That's my opener. <laughs> that's I open gonna, with that. You're closing with that. Who if you enjoy kidding? that joke, Jimmy will be at the Stress Factory for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> they'll, they'll all start yelling, Opie's Primate. I'll have to do the voice. Uh, <laughs> right after the phone call. <laughs> Cooey, wacky stuff. But Jeffy Ross has oh. another show to promote. Jesus, Jeff. He's on Showtime this Sunday at 8 p.m., and he's also doing something for MTV. What's that about? MTV. I don't even know the name of the show. Sorry. MTV wanted to, wanted, to, wanted to let your listeners know first. It comes on June 10th. It's really cool. This is my first time talking about it on the radio. It's called Where Are My Dogs At? Me and Tracy Morgan play animated. It's a cartoon. We play stray dogs wandering around Hollywood making fun of celebrities. I think this is Bobby and Whitney. Okay. This clip. Oh, we got a clip? All right. It's Tracy Morgan and me as dogs. Bobby, you, I can't, you, you need to get out of my face. That's Whitney. You nasty, all singing, ah, uh, damn. No, you nasty. <laughs> Check my belly. <laughs> oh, man. Fat, Check it. Hey, woman, look. What are they saying? I don't know. Let me get my English to crack dictionary. Bobby Jr., Bobby Christina, I have to go drop it on the one, so you need to go play now. Love you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. What was the? Uh, huh. It's kind of underwhelming on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really need. That's Thank the thing about animation. You. Is, Thank God he said it. Is the animating? <laughs> Thank God. You know, there's something going on that you can't see. <laughs> Thank yeah. God he said yeah, you it. You need color. We were all looking around, yeah. feeling a little uncomfortable, and Jeffrey just. If cartoons worked <laughs> well, on the, the radio, the there'd the be Koreans. See that. Out of the show's work. so funny that I could I what? could slam it when it's necessary. No, no, no. It's, is this for you to bring this to the other show? There's a real there's a real trailer up on my MySpace page. Oh, okay, it's cool. really funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it across the room. That's good. That was, Dean Edward, that was Dean Edwards doing uh, both voices, what? by the way. <laughs> now, with animation, you got to see the cartoons. you got to see the whole thing. Dean Edwards, <laughs> talented, another talented black dude that SNL didn't know how to use. Dean Edwards, there's a trailer up at MySpace, Jeffrey Ross Live. Jeffrey it's Ross? Really funny. It comes on June 10th on MTV. We'll, we'll definitely check it out. What, what kind of what kind of dog are you? I play a 
a uh, beagle. You're a beagle. What is, what, is, what is Tracy? I play Buddy, a little lost dog from New Jersey. What's Tracy plays a big, fat bulldog, street dog, with a gold tooth and a Louis Vuitton collar. He's hilarious. Of course. He's really good at it. All right, we're going to go to the phones here and say hi to Kevin in Jersey. Kevin, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, I'd just like to thank Jeffy for going over there and uh, doing his thing for the truth. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. Hey, it was great, man. I was over there for a year, and Robin Williams came over there a couple of times, and we saw the WWE wrestlers, but, you know, we, we, can't, we can't tell you how much we appreciate you doing this. I appreciate you telling us that, man. You got to see Robin Williams, huh? What's that? You got to see Robin Williams? And he's hairier than most Iraqis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That guy, was, it's distracting you, he... in movies to, to look at his arms and his hands, the back of his hands. There's so much hair there that he was I good in don't hear dialogue. He was believable in Gorillas in the Mist. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm sitting there talking to him, I'll just keep looking at his arms. Oh yeah, remember that? Oh, you're his buddy. I forgot yeah. about that. You you have espresso together. Yeah, yeah we had you. I was there, right? You, me, Jimmy's me. never drank an espresso in his life. Robin Williams come in, orders an espresso. I'll have an espresso. Oh, I'll, I'll have one too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Can I, I get, a photo? Can get I one for Jimmy Norton? <laughs> no, they just two on they me. Just took candid photos of Robin and I talking, so it's not a big deal. It's one of the few times we set the table. You know, you say you say he oh. wouldn't know who you were. Oh, he would. Not true. He, he liked you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn sure, it. He talked. He's very friendly guy. He actually upset me. He talked to me. One night. I was walking out of the cellar. He goes, where are you going? I go, where, where are you going? And he came out and talked to me. And it was the most uncomfortable five minutes of my life. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> why, was it, why was it uncomfortable? Yeah. Well, yeah. because I, I don't really, I'm not good around famous people, dude. I'm like that type You're of You're not icon. good around anybody. I, I live with you. You're garbage. <laughs> we didn't live together, you loser. We're in the building. So what? You're, You're not... garbage, too. Yeah, I know that, but I'm not, not up here too. acting like it's only celebrities. Like but you guys would about. visit each other's apartments and stuff. I would pet his dog. I love Bob's out. dogs. He would, I would really, I, he would come to my apartment. You were like Jerry and Kramer. He is Constantly. rolled into one fat no. body. <laughs> Hello, Newman. Oh, Hello, Robert. <laughs> there's nothing worse than us <laughs> us having lunch and falling to sleep. He has both of my dogs in his lap. I'm on my couch. Both of us snoring. We have sleep apnea. <laughs> 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 Bags and Diet Cokes everywhere. <laughs> his dogs love me. I love his little animals. I would, yeah. I would go to Bob's apartment. Just he would no. He would actually pick his nose and feed it to my dog. <laughs> oh. God, oh, yeah, Diva would lick. Why would finger. you do that? Why wouldn't you? He would. I would look point. over, and my Good dog point. would be like getting Scooby snacks <laughs> from Creepo. Oh, because they love salty stuff, doggies. Yeah, that's uh, disgusting, yeah. though. Because then, what would would Bob go? Come on, give me kisses, give me kisses, yeah. and the dog would lick Bob's face and leave a big green yeah. slimy thing on his cheek. Like just, no, like a big clear viscousy teardrop, <laughs> <A> salty teardrop. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> you don't feed other people's dogs your snot. You don't you, feed anybody your snot. I would no. feed your kids my snot. Not if yourself. Your kids are around me, I'll feed them my boogers. But I'll eat my own snot. Isn't that weird? No. Amazing. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> Anthony's never eaten his own snot. Yes. I put no, it on cereal. Never, sometimes. ever, <laughs> ever. Don't start picking. Now Jimmy's got to annoy me by picking I can't his nose. Get anything. There's nothing in there. Yeah. Because you got the roadblock across the top of you with the breathe right strip. Uh, let's keep it everything back. Listen, we've run out of show. The first half of the Opie and Anthony Damn show is pretty it. much over. We've yes. gone from like political social commentary to, to like eating our own snow. That's Booger the beauty jokes. of the. It's the beauty of the show, though. Let's be honest. You, know, you don't know where we're going. We've a Patriot actor, Jeff. I'm going to plug Jeff's movie. Yes, Patriot please. Act, a home, uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff Ross home movie. A great documentary about him being over in Iraq will be on uh, Showtime this Sunday. What time? Four eight, star eight, reviews. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah. You never see four, four stars, star. Brave review. reviews for the the film, and, and then the MTV yeah. thing, Jeffrey. MTV. Two, June 10th, part of the new MTV2 Sycamation block. And now he has to go... St well, no, you're going to do some radio with us at XM? Yeah, and then we're going to go to The View. And then oh. he's going to The View. Very nice. Want to uh, hear something real funny real quick? No. All right, never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So, you know, I'm always on either... It's either late night or cable or it's so dirty. So I'm on the Today Show yesterday. My hometown, New York, New Jersey. I tell my whole family to watch, right? They're all watching. I go on a Today Show. I kill. Phone doesn't ring. An hour goes by, three hours. I realize it aired everywhere in the world except the tri-state area because of that what? stupid power outage on the train yesterday. Oh, oh, man. That's a tough business. You were robbed. Are you kidding? It's a tough business. Bumped for a train with no power. They're never going to replay that. No. They yeah, had to go like local the here TV in New York, obviously. Ever. 
All right. Well, listen, we got to go because XM's going to cut us off, and I want to get a little more Drew Boogie in. Drew Boogie's birthday. Thanks for helping us out today, uh, Drew. Why don't you play us out, and we'll see you guys on XM in just a few minutes. I love you guys. There we are. Are we on the radio? We're on the radio. Ooh, we're we're the on the radio. We're on the radio. Are we on That's the radio? The first. Thank you, Kenny. Are we on the radio yet? I want to be on the radio. We're on the radio. Opie is hooking up his uh, microphone. I had to make sure this mic was sterilized because that degenerate, homeless, bum, Tippy Tom was using this yesterday. Wow, look out. at that girl over there. My mic, out of all the fucking microphones that could be used, my mic had to be used yesterday. What is that, by the uh, sign, you mean? Yeah, she's Who's, lovely. What the hell's going on there? Holy shit. Is she a Hispanic? It says O and A till what? Till I'm DOA. Till I'm nice. DOA. Is that your girlfriend? Oh, Sorry, nice. we're going to have to take her. Go ahead. Let her nag you to death. You That's can have her. A, are you a nag? The mic's not on. Wow, she's, she's calling, she, he's calling her a nag. Hold on. I'm Jimmy. What does she, what does she nag about? That junior high homework? <laughs> She's a lovely one. Well, you look very young. You know, hanging out with her, walking with her down the street, I feel like I'm going to end up on the Dateline special. How old a girl are you, miss? 14. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. 18. <laughs> 18. Uh, How old are you? 21. How long have you been dating her? Like three years? Good six, boy. 15. And saying, okay. Nice. Yeah, it works out very nice. Uh, o and A till I'm DOA. All she right. listen to the show? Oh, of course, all the time. I make her. Good. Where uh, where you two hook up? Where are you uh, from? A little place called Luigi's Pizza in Hazlitt, New Jersey. Oh, you're from Jersey? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How old is she? 18. She's 18. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good relationship. It'd be cool if you were 35 and you've been dating for 10 years. <laughs> be awesome. <laughs> you hear this? What's wrong with your mic, Opie? I don't know. Is it work? Hello, hello. That's better. <laughs> It's not, I, I can't hear myself. I can't hear him either, Steve. Yeah, I can't hear you either. It smells... Hello? Oh, there, it right, is. there it is. It smells nice and clean, so probably they cleaned it, it with soap and water because uh, Tippy Tom was using his mic yesterday. a little bit. They probably fucked up the microphone. Jeffrey Ross helping us out with the walk today, everybody. This is very exciting. There's uh, 12 year olds here, half naked. Yeah. <laughs> Laughing at me like I yeah, had a she, chance. She must... Uh, uh, what do you do? A lot of guys hitting on her all the time and... No, never. Why? I mean, you get a lot of stares. I don't know. I mean, look at me. I'm like 5'6", but I'm kind of big up top, like 195. So, I don't know. Maybe they see that and think I'll, like, go nuts on them. No, no. Yeah. It's Half because you have the psycho so. beard. You have the psycho beard. He's got, like, that little bit of hair under. It's like half a goatee, which is the, sh the true sign of a psychopath. You look like Harry Potter on steroids. Yeah. Actually, that's <laughs> the first time I got that. Yeah. You never. But I, I actually take that as a compliment. Thank you. You shouldn't. <laughs> All right, let's start the walk to XM. Yes, our trek. We got to make the walk quick because Jeffrey Ross has to be on the view in a little while. How weird is that? How weird is that is right. All in one day. Yeah, it's probably the first, right? First person ever to do your show and their show at the same time. I do believe I've never actually right. wanted to be a piece of the sidewalk so I could peek up. So, uh, Star Jones is uh, you're, leaving. Uh, you li you like her, Jim? In. You I like heard her, the Jim? fire marshal wouldn't let well, them both on like the show Jim? at the same oh, boy. time. We got two conversations going on at the same time. Do I? Yeah, Jeffrey you guys Ross talk about Star Jones. I'll talk about what I would like to do to her for money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sir. Ah, oh, stupid. Mind your business, oh, Peter Boyle. Turned around. Mind your business. You dropped something, miss. He's looking at you. He's going to fight nah, you. Got no, he's got her not. so bad. I got club oh, soda, Kenny, and Master Poe. So I'll fuck that guy in the mouth. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> back, he's gonna fight you. Luke, he's fighting nobody, that fucking balding creep. Looks like he's gonna turn you down for a loan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get it. You're taking pictures. Yeah, that's right. Stop trying to look like you know what you're doing. He's taking pictures of the girl. Mustachioed zilch. <laughs> Love that guy. Takes oh. pictures every day. How many pictures do you need? It's a cool hairdo. Yeah. That's a great hairdo if you're starting scanners. <laughs> I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> Hope his skull blows off. Oh, uh, here we go now into the masses. Excuse me, miss. 
Are you frightened or happy? We can't tell. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> well, you, how can you tell, right, Jimmy? Uh, she, there's just no way. She's an Asian girl. What did you say? Are you frightened or happy? We, we can't tell. Back across the street. Have you noticed uh, we have not seen Tony Bennett since we f scared him away? Yeah, that old fuck. He switched our uh, roots. I've had enough of him, too. Won't say hi in the air. Go fuck yourself. Enough of Tony yeah, Bennett. Yeah, we know. Right? You were Sinatra. We heard that. Can't fucking stop by and say hi. All right. Yeah, what are we going to do? Exactly. Interview him. Just a quick hello. Oh, I got to go. I'm late for my workout. Are you? We'll make him hip with the kids. Ugh, he really started to bug me. Oh. Grace, you cut a little stinker. Cut a little stinker. <laughs> don't don't make like you're squeezing her ass. And a log her falls out. Might see. We're stuck at this light. All right, here we go. All right, making our Bobby. way to XM. Hey, Bobby, what do you think of the, this? Is the first time Bob Kelly has done the walk with us, Bob. And any thoughts? Down. Any thoughts in that head? Uh, no, this is fantastic right here. This is hey, you're in the crosswalk. Hey. No. Nah. It's the pedestrians that are screwing him up. Let the man drive. I can't believe Mac is actually zoning out with the headphones on. How is Mac still alive? What's, what's, Don Wicklin got him an XM unit. What is he listening to? Mac, Mac, what are you listening to today? 88. 88? Yeah. What? He's listening to the news. Oh. JBO. Uh, 88. He thought you said, what's the last year you showered? What? Nothing. BGO. B BGO. Bad B.O. Yeah. Oh, it's jazz? I don't know, but it's it's beating whatever David Lee Roth got. Yeah. Opie, why don't you hold his hand? He has the same hands as Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He stumbled over that, and it was still funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mac. We have hey, you got new plan. pants. Where'd well, you get the new duds? Uh, ben gave it to me. Oh, yeah? What, just came over and said, here's some clothes? Yeah. That's pretty nice. What are you doing with all the money we gave you? What food? But some yeah. food. Yeah. That's good. Hey, this, I'm sharing Aruba. This corner work out good for you? People come by and give you some money? Yeah. Oh, good work, yeah. Ben. A buck. Bob gave him a 20. Jesus. <laughs> 20 bucks. 20 wow. bucks. Hey, give him the dollar back. You don't need that crap. He, Ooh, I'm already does. over. My tax guy tells me I'm already over on my charitable contributions. Yeah, Bye, he, Mac. He does well every day. Yeah. The listeners take care of Mac every day. Oh, Mac, look don't at, tell the rest of the guys what's going on. You want all the money for yourself. What? All right. That fatso. Holy shit. Hi. Jesus. Hey, Chief from Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> oh, did you see this fat-faced idiot? Oh. It's Larry David. <laughs> Jesus, Larry David. It looks like Latka's priest. I stole your line, Jeffrey. What? What's Hello? wrong? She's staring at Jimmy. She wants to talk to you. I think. Who does? The the fat lady. Oh, let me ask her. <laughs> We're doing interviews for the street. Hi. Hi. Two weeks. Hi, Miss. We're doing interviews. How are you? Two yeah, weeks. English. Uh, why did you uh, Why did you uh, carbon freeze Han Solo? I don't speak English. <laughs> oh, okay. Two no, weeks. Nothing on the Java line? How does a That Java was line funny. Come? I know. She Jesus. does have, like, the Java face. She speak English. I know. That's what makes No me. English? Oh, okay. So talk, what? Who wants uh, to get made fun uh, of? Espan, Espanol? Okay. Ah, si, si. Uh, to, to, uh, 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 uh re resemble, resemble, uh, 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 look, look like, look like, uh, uh, el Java, uh, el Hut. Oh, no. Please let us slap him. <laughs> How come that works in the movies? Jeffrey tried. Her boyfriend's uh, about to assassinate What's up there, B? He's taking a picture of you. Are you at home? Jeffrey Funny. Ross tried with her. Hold on. Hold Anyone on. speak Spanish? Hold on. I just got to pick up my weed real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was my weed dealer for a second. Pick up his Actually, weed. Uh, she looks like me, my before picture on Fat Smash Diet. Oh. Wow. Say it again. No one heard it. Hey, how you doing? Nice talking to you. <laughs> Let's go. I think if you turn her ear, her head separates, and Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is in there. <laughs> I like the fact that you reworded it. I had to reword the nothing. same bomb joke. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, nice she, I swear she looks like her. <laughs> oh, who's this fucking Ed Bigley zilch? 
<laughs> right, what do you want? It's it's, it's uh, Fat Opie, as they call him. <laughs> is that who that is? Yeah. It's my future uh, brother-in-law. It feels like Jack and the Beanstalk. Or what was that show where people follow you down the street? Um, what was that thing? I don't know. I, don't know. I couldn't think quickly enough. <laughs> think of a no. racist joke. Who's this guy with the freaking uh, sunglasses? Who? Oh, we'd have... Uh, ben, the producer? No, the guy that looks like he's going to kill us. Yeah, the guy. Exactly, Uh, smoothies today? No, who's the guy that looks like he's going to kill us? What, oh, that guy? Yeah. It's Richard Ramirez. Who, who, who is he? Hey, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, pal. Oh, no, you look a little crazy. Don't get mad at me. Well, that's all right. I am crazy. This is my story of my life, too. It's your goddamn show. He's here to kill you. And I say one thing, and he's going to stab me now. I, don't I got the psycho... Like Come on, I'm from Chicago. Leave. No chip on my shoulder. I love New York. Leave Frankie Give me a Valley alone. Did you blink? There you go. Can you see through the glasses? I did. It was sideways, you alien. <laughs> hey, man, I worry about the guys. You can't see the eyes. You know what I'm saying? You can see my eyes, pal. Yeah, that's right. You can't. You, you want to see my eyes? No, I could care less. You know okay. What I'm Ooh. No homo. No homo. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, you nutcase. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Oh, man. what's your name? Randy Rockman. Randy Rockman? Randy right. Rockman. Good, that's good, dude. And and what do you do, dude? Triple X Adult Action dot com. Do you star or you produce? No, no, check it out. XXX Adult Action dot com. Check it out. Okay, cool. You're a director? Porn director? I do my thing. No, no, it's my site, man. It's my well, site. Well you 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 have you fu- we're on XM, right? Yeah, what's on the site? Do you fuck for a, a living? Porno, porno crap. Do you fuck? Kind, what kind? We know it's porno. Adult, all kinds. We know it's adult that. porno! Yeah, we got Blondes. that with XX. Yeah, it's a kid porn. We know you weren't guys. selling Patrice Real size t shirts. Real chicks, man. Real chicks? Real chicks. As opposed to what? Hey, real chicks. This you is know? the worst plug for a website I've ever heard. You gotta be specific. What do you have? Porn. Uh, but it's adults. We understand that. Not that we approve of it. Well, you know, I mean, straight, straight. Oh, so chicks, straight, straight adults, chicks mostly getting straight. Fucked. Right. And then a lot of other stuff by yeah. guys. Yeah, all that. Yeah, chicks getting fucked by guys. All right. Yeah, blacks and blondes. Yeah, got that too. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, real women. Uh, Asian. Asian. We got Asian. We got hot Asian. girls. We got big boob chicks. Pigs. Fat girls. Yeah, yeah, all nice, kinds. Nice. All kinds of chicks. Jews. Yeah, yeah. Niggers. Got some, got some niggers. How do you know? Yeah, we got black chicks. We got black chicks. <laughs> got any sticks? Yeah, we got, we got sticks. Right. We got American sticks. Indians. American Indian. Cool. American Indian. And kikes. Blonde, got kikes. Blondes, brunettes, cool. redheads. Blonde Asians. The whole deal. Yeah, blonde Asians. Like you got any slopes? Uh, slopes. Sounds sure, like quite sure. a racist website. Sure. Check it out. XXXAdultAction.com. Got any sand monkeys? Any sand monkeys? Yeah, sure. Sand monkeys. Do you have uh, shwoogie on shwoogie? We got all kinds. All kinds, my friend. Check cool. it out. All right. Check it out. Buy something. All right. Thank you. De Niro should stab him in a vet. In- oh. Oh, okay. oh. Stab him in a vestibule, I stink. Why not, sir? I got to do it again. That is no. the creepiest yeah. guy to ever Get go. your hand off my back. Go on the Come walk with us. Come here. The go cre- on the walk. The creepiest guy so far? Let me tell you something. You know him? Uh, no, but he is with uh, my sister's boyfriend, so I believe he's coming up uh, to the studio. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. That guy coming up? That guy with Great. The- Just let him sit in the chair and watch th- through the glass. Yeah. I think we're losing Jeffrey Ross, right, Jeff? Oh, wait, another few minutes. Well, you got to go to the you view. Do? You're here? You got to go to the view. Yeah. Is that yeah. sissy? Yeah, that's pretty uh, sissy. I like the view. You got to get women appeal, right? Oh, uh, no, you don't. You can't, just make, you can't just make jokes about women and, and never embrace and love them, right? They'll, they'll call you out on a few things, though. Yeah. Now, I've seen you on some of the roasts, honey, and you ain't too... Mm, you said a couple of things about me. You've made some uh, Star Jones I did jokes. once sit under Star Jones on Hollywood Squares after lunch, <laughs> and she kept farting on the, the square above me. Are you serious or are you kidding? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, and it was definitely creaking. Like, I thought the whole thing was going to collapse. <laughs> right now, something over all the years. Is, right now, the fire marshal is tightening up the stage for Rosie O'Donnell's arrival <laughs> on The View. <laughs> all right, we got to get upstairs to start the second half of the Opie and Anthony show. Any smoothie order before we go up? I'll have one, Get me sir. one! Oh, be, be nice. Uh, no, thanks. That's all I my smoothie for oh, now. What do we got thank here? You. I yell at Kenny for it. Jesus. Hi, sir. Uh, pro- help the protest. What, what do you pro- what do you what do you protest? Bad mustaches. We're walking against AIDS. Well, well, good good luck to you. Really. Any donations? We're walking with AIDS. How about a donation? You can afford that suit. 
Uh, oh, we're in trouble. Yeah, that was Fred Goldman. Oh, Very good, Ben. Gonna, oh, Jesus. It's, oh, we always I did look like Fred Goldman. Who's Fred Goldman? That wasn't we're Fred told, Goldman. We're told time who's and Fred time Goldman? again. It's not him. No, it looks like I'm Bob Kelly, so don't say who. If I say who's Fred Goldman, don't act surprised. Oh Fred Goldman God. was the guy. I'm trying to talk shoulder. to you. Stop okay. rubbing my put belly. It, oh, put it this way. Shy. I wish he was your dad. Thing. You can't touch me like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a damn good one, Anthony. Thank you, Jimmy. He wishes that, that Fred Goldman was your dad. I was <laughs> Get off me, Norton. Stop touching me. <laughs> Norton's grabbing everyone he's today. He's holding. He's not grabbing. He's holding. Why don't we I have, have a learn? I have my hand inside of his jacket and Bobby, like, I'm talking like this. Come on, we're, man. He's all shy. We're not Get supposed to be me. hanging out in front. Of, what's the news uh, to Van doing there? I don't know. We're at CBS. Why don't we do an assault on the media to him? Oh, maybe because we actually have a woman making them walk so the media send people down. Where's that psycho? Does anybody get an eye on him? Maybe we should leave that station alone. No smoothie. That was implied right, let's that we go never upstairs. have girls. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Okay, I Come on. All right. Come on, I'm walking with you. Uh, all right, let's, let's go. Everybody in. Guys, thank you. Take it easy, have you Have a good two. weekend. Take it easy. Bye. You're welcome, my friend. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. What a walk. Wait, sir. Who was that? Mind your business. Okay, Anthony. Excellent. Get the elevator. Uh, am I on? Hello. Where are my headphones? There we go. You get in the elevator, and there's a lot of other people in there that have nothing to do with the program. And uh, it's very quiet, and you just hear... Jimmy blasted such a loud one. It was so embarrassing, and, and I'm laughing hysterical. I couldn't stop laughing. Thank God it didn't smell. It didn't smell. No. I was far enough away where I, I wouldn't have been able to smell. I'm waiting for one where the elevator's full, he farts. It's one of his real bad ones. Yeah. And that will just be atrocious. Jimmy, you can't conjure up a stinky one for those situations? Yeah, I keep forgetting, but I, I've gotten a few. That's what I need. That's what I, uh... Oh, God, was that funny. What happened? Jimmy got in an elevator full of people that have nothing to do with the show. Yeah. And me and Kenny, and, and I'm standing against the wall. And the second the door is shut, it's real quiet. You just hear, <laughs> like a loud, juicy one. Did anyone say anything? No, but I just hear I, giggling the whole ride up. I, I, tried, I put this little envelope in front of my face, and you just heard, <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Why is that funny? Uh, dude, it's every time. I just, I'm just giggling like a five-year-old. And there's a girl in there, too. There's like a woman in there. Just a horrid human you are. You barely qualify as human. This is the weirdest thing ever, dude. What? Yeah. What? What's what? up? Talking without a mic, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, fucking sitting over there. radio without, without a, a mic. Are you guys on air? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But, I don't know I'm if that's sorry, a good dude. thing, man. So many people ask that question. Like, what? This, this is, is a show? Yeah. Wait, we're on the air? No, yes. this is just the weirdest thing ever that we were just over there. And now yeah. we're over here. But then we No, but then there's the walk, which is kind of surreal. On the street with mics, and and then all of a sudden you're up here, and and, and now we're over here now. That is kind of weird though, when you're yeah. in one place and you actually walk and you wind up in another. <laughs> the hell kind of people are they? <laughs> the hell what kind of people are you? These people, Ma. Give me a pen, Steve, before I smack you in the face. <laughs> Please, play more pen. That won't be done. <laughs> I gotta talk to Scott in Virginia. Scott, Scott. Yeah, what's going on? Boys? Hi, Scott. Hi. Hey, y'all missed the best line of the show when y'all were uh, walking over and talking to Mac. And, what did uh, I say? Uh, Jim, Jimmy said, uh, they asked what channel uh, he was listening to, and uh, he said 88, and Jimmy said that was the last year he took a bath. <laughs> Thank you. That was yes, a good one. I heard that, I heard that. and it was I liked very it. funny. Thanks a lot for noticing. You know, my contributions are so often uh, uh, looked over. Ha <laughs> ha, Jimmy, much humor. <laughs> Where's Jeff? Uh, he snuck out. He had to go to the, Why? Uh, the view. He had to go to the view. He's got to go with a bunch of uh, w women. He's got to hang out with the women bunch folk. Bunch of fucking hens. Yep. We got to watch him on the view now. Because yeah. <laughs> it'll be a different. Uh, That's what it'll be. It'll a different be different interview. <laughs> well, I got a uh, documentary. <laughs> Yes, it's about uh, my uh, travels in Iraq. <laughs> 
What are you? Another banana. I mean a banana, but Jimmy keeps looking at me every time I put it in my mouth. You break yeah. it apart. Yeah, that's a good Lay it out. Yeah, what, what's it apart. wrong with you? You break it apart because when you eat it like that, you don't Jimmy feels be... compelled to push on the back of your head. That's right. You don't know how to be fun. Hey, watch Is that. it bad that I only eat bananas in a closet on my knees? Go ahead. In my panties? That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Close Go your eyes. Eat that banana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude! She made it! Dude! Dude! I'm sorry. No, it was bad. Oh, that. that was like slap happy. Exactly. I don't like that I gagged almost all the way down the banana, though. Yeah, I, I, you like the way he didn't push my hand away? He just was like, come on, man, like a chick would do. He looked at me like, why would you do that? You know I'm going to gag. You I have to go slow. It. This would actually be the perfect penis, though, if you, the size right here. Sure. <laughs> if, if you were going to put something Dude. in your mouth, because some, I, you watch like those blowjob movies and they're like too big, they can only get the top in. But That's this the would best be the, kind. This would be the perfect size right here. What do you think, Anthony? You with me? No, not at all. You sure? Thank you. Positive. Somebody, somebody you know, sent me a trophy. Or uh, what? You got a trophy? What did you get? Aw, oh, what does it say? <laughs> Jimmy's got some mail today. This is a real. It's he a just real opened trophy. up a box. What is it, Jimmy? I got a trophy. <laughs> oh my God. Why do you people do this? Why do you entertain him? It's it's <laughs> oh, look at this uh, it's a gold cup. It is. And I've won a lot of awards. <laughs> Let me see this thing. But when he wins awards, he gets nervous. This, Show the Pal Talk camera, please. This one says, Hey, Hawk, you want to hold that Pal Talk camera up before this award sails <laughs> off your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> the trophy looks really big when you have it that close to the camera. Why don't you back up the trophy so they can see the true size? Well, how about pulling thing? the camera back before? There you <clears> go. <throat> it says, It's a gold cup. It says, <laughs> and to not send you a trophy. Sweetest boy in studio. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Lil Jimmy Norton. How and nice. The good part is that the dumb motherfucker that sent me this goes L I L and puts the apostrophe after the second L in the wrong place. You non apostrophe putting sack of shit. <laughs> You're lucky I don't find your mother and rape her with this trophy. <laughs> Apparently we're on XM now, right? How, <laughs> yeah. How uh, about pace, this, pace. Ryan? Oh, wow. How about putting the apostrophe <laughs> in the right place? How weird is our lives? Dude, this is the, this, <laughs> we, we like this is like two different. We walk worlds. a tightrope over there, and as soon as we get over here, it's like, That's like this. wait, 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 wait. The sweetest boy in the studio wants to talk. Oh <laughs> yeah. God damn! Why do you guys feed into this? It is odd that we're over there going, you know, eh, watch the way, you know, because the guy. All right, a guy was with a woman, and he put. His 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 um, stuff in a place that w is pleasurable to both the people um, involved, and then a few walks, a few steps uh, uh, from studio to studio, he fucked her in the cunt. Yeah, he, he raped her with a trophy. <laughs> Thank he you. Fucking stuck right a trophy in the ass. Ass. Right. Right. Thank you very much. Although it's not even like this was kind of like a no-brainer award. Did it say Jimmy has no brain? No, oh, it's a little. Jimmy oh, I thought by no brainer. I'm the Can sweetest I boy in studio. Is it? What's it made out of? Plastic? Can I see your trophy, Jimmy? No, please, because Can you I were voted it? most likely to break something belonging to a sweet boy. <laughs> a sweet I boy. I forgot about. I forgot how fucking crazy Opie is. Oh, that thing could be smashed. <laughs> but it's. it's smashed. Did I ever tell you? I just want to step on it and bend it. When I was a boy, <laughs> I just I, want to. Uh, Put a big dent in it. Just I, take one of the little handles and snap it. Right. <laughs> I would put. I'm gonna put this up on my mantle. <laughs> oh no! Oh, by the end of uh, this version of the show, that it. thing will be broken. No, no. You I want to carry that with you wherever you go, I'm Jimmy. Jealous. I want to actually go into the bathroom and shit in it <laughs> and fill it to the top like peanut butter. Could you let Bob Kelly shit in it? Can I just take a shit in <laughs> it? A nice fat smash shit. <laughs> Please. A big green. I haven't eaten meat in a week. Oh, nine days. Come shit. on, Jimmy. Let let him shit in it, and we'll get a picture, <laughs> and then you can take it home. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yeah. Jealous people. Yeah. I am the sweetest boy in studio. I would let Bob shit in my trophy if I had one. Do you? Well, then maybe you should win something. <laughs> you didn't win it. I'm when not, I was a boy at the gazebo in my town, I won the award for boy whose smile most resembles a rainbow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's say hi to uh, uh, Joseph in Jersey. Joseph. Hey, what's happening, boys? Hey, hey Joseph. Joe. 
somebody mentioned that Little Jimmy makes a contribution to the show, and I'm on my way to an HR meeting because of Little Jimmy's contributions to the show. you got to see human resource Why? resources yes. today? Well, because I thought it was very funny when Jimmy said that he was in the men's room uh, at the urinal, and he drops his pants to his ankles and hikes up his shirt real high. Yeah. yeah. And so I tried that, and one of the bosses walked in, and um, I'm in trouble now. Really? Yeah, you got to watch. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think it was anything. They're in front of them on men, you know? What are you going to do? It's funny. A apparently, it's not that funny. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell to do oh, now. I hate people that have to go to HR. Oh, no. Uh, I might lose my cue. What kind of... Uh, for, do? Don't even get me started with the HR stuff. bullshit. Why? They're human resources. They're here to help us, right? No, no they're not. <laughs> well, what, what, what do you think they can do to me? I'm in mean, a 1974 that, puppet that joke. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even have a clue what they're going to call it. I mean, you know. Are you married? Uh, yeah. How, did you? Do you have to tell your wife what happened? Um, <laughs> she kind of thinks I'm a weirdo anyway, so, so I'm you, figuring she's not going to take it out of uh, too much of a regular stride. So when me, you can't pay you know? the rent, her mother is going to be, what happened? He put, oh, yeah, that would oh. be great. Oh, it's better at Thanksgiving. It won't be Christmas, kids, because Daddy lost his job. I'm just screwed. Can I come and work for you guys? Oh, uh, boy. Oh, he's, boy. Uh, he's, he, you're sinking fast, my friend. All right. Thanks, sir. I'm sorry. Goodbye. HR, what a waste of time. A block. What up, motherfuckers? What up? Hey, man. <laughs> um, I got my money on uh, Dennis Leary having the most dumps for this week. Yeah, where's our dump sheet? Yeah, where's yeah, the dump sheet for going. today? Come on. And then we got to find chop, out. Chop, chop. We got to find out who had the most dumps for the week. Yeah, I would say Dennis, but that's like a guest. You think out there's, of everybody? There's old blockhead. Oh, God, what a wow. mess. Looks like Hubba Bubba is holding her glasses together. <laughs> old blockhead. That is Hubba Bubba. <laughs> she, uh, she got caught having sex with a student, and this one will do hard time because she's not a looker. She had sex with a, a, a guy student? 14-year-old yeah. boy. Fuck, uh, we didn't uh, do this story yet either. This guy you're looking at on TV right now, he's five foot one. The judge uh, will not be sending him to prison because he's too short. Because he's too short for prison. And last on the list to get the sheet is Anthony. Thank you. Let me take you. It's because where you I'm are, not. Anthony. That's what the only the, it doesn't matter. Do you think if you're the in your, president is you're in your safe the corner? It's, it's almost impossible to get to you. <laughs> what did he do wrong, the little fella? What well, the he... little fella. Here it is. I got the the, the paper version. Oh. Convicted child molester Richard Thompson is getting a, a big break. A Nebraska judge saying the five foot one fiend is too short to survive in prison gave him ten years probation instead. Mm. That's probably, it's probably not even kid touching if you're that short. So if you're a midget and you kill somebody, you don't go to prison? Yeah, apparently not. You don't. You just don't go to prison because uh, you're too short, and I guess he figured, uh, the judge figured he'd be abused in prison. I wonder if there is a midget-like killer, if like the midget ever killed somebody. Never. How how fun would a midget be in prison to just beat up every day? Just make, make him suck your dick standing up in the shower? Make him hold your coffee? Jimmy. Is that a rod? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you have a rod? Why? Why? Do you have a rod? Partial. Is that a freaking boner? Not Jimmy! Dude, what's wrong with you? It's everything that's right. And it's on camera, like, prominently displayed on camera. But I get beat up today because I was holding another man's hand. Well, at least it's my cock. Why do I get beat up? Just look at the mic. Yeah, Bob, grab it. No, I'm not going to grab it. You can see the, the, the shape of the, the helmet, the little Hitler helmet he has on it. No, it's, you can't. But it's bent. Yeah, you can. It's right Dude, there. Dude, it's see bent it. in like... Look, right here. It's in look, half. No, that's right. not the helmet. The helmet's back up here. Oh, it's it, bent it, towards It's me. going up? Yeah. It looks like a little friggin' fist in your pants. <laughs> like, that's going down. Oh, like, God. <laughs> oh, that's... For the helmet God. right there. Why are why? you... Do, why I'm you, not hard. I'm not why, hard. But why are you filling up at all? Yeah, why? Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's a pair of tits on the Paltor camera, which are rather lovely. I you pointed out uh, the other day that you didn't really appreciate that girl. No, that's not the girl. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I pointed. I said, what about her? No. And you were like, no, I don't like her. You're, there was there, a problem. There was a mis Duh. I, I, I did it five times, I asked no, you. you. I'm telling you. Liar, liar. Your heart on is on fire. Well, can you can you stop rubbing Shut it? Shut up. Mind your Why business. Why are you... Dude, you're basically jerking off on I'm freaking... I'm fucking talking to people. My, I am sweetest boy in the studio. Dude, I want to shit in your trophy. That's, why he, got, that's why he got plump. Dude, Why? 
You dude, stop it's holding it. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah, but you hold, dude. Do you understand what you're doing? Thank yeah, you. dude, you're in a studio Watching on a radio you spit show. banana onto the microphone, you fucking monkey. In front of a bunch of guys. <laughs> in front of all men, and you're holding and rubbing the tip of your cock. That, what do you want it to fill up more? Keep describing. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Not that I'm not hard. Can you stop touching it? Just let it go away? <laughs> let it keeps, go away, dude. He keeps grabbing it, going, I'm not hard, and it's getting bigger and no, bigger. No, 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 it's not. What are you doing? Are you taking it out? No, no, no. Are you taking it out? No. What's wrong with you? Dude, there's that crazy guy. Jesus Christ. Uh, Could somebody get him a, a wardrobe from 2000? He, why is he here? I don't know. But he's wearing glasses like Mr. Gazzo and Rocky. He's, um, Drop something. my here. sister's boyfriend's friend. From Chicago. Wow. Ugh, yeah. His boyfriend he's has his helmet head hair also. Does he not talking into a mic that's on? What, Kenny? He's got that helmet head hair. Ah. Oh God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Eh. Oh, the dump report. Yes. Yes. We, we uh, finally have it in front of us. Here it is. What about? Is someone, yeah. Oh my God. Is. Hold on. Is someone going to take all the dump reports for the week and give us the the you know the tally of who uh, got dumped out the most? Maybe the top three or something. I have a bone of contention to pick here. A what? A bone of contention. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, what does yeah, that really you're mean? Been picking, I don't, you know what? I don't like that big word. He's been picking shit. his bone of contention. <laughs> I don't really... Uh, I don't know what that means Jimmy. either. What is a bone of contention? What are you doing? Jimmy, <laughs> stop. All right, Jimmy. Julia, sit the fuck down oh. with your rod I don't, I don't, I don't I get, get a, rid of it. I want to get a piece of paper and a pencil and, and, and sketch over it. Etch it, it. Just like at the, the Vietnam the War yeah, Memorial yeah. where they do it with the names. <laughs> Can you please do that? <laughs> yeah, give me a white piece of paper. I already have a white piece of paper and a pencil. I want to. We need a get... pencil and a white piece of paper immediately. You can actually, just, yeah, yeah. kind of go over it softly and get the etching <laughs> of Jimmy's junk. Etch one of the veins. <laughs> oh no. God! <laughs> please. Why are you grabbing it? Could you what? put it over towards Anthony? Can you no. head it, Can you uh, head your penis north instead of south? No. Yeah, let me see. Come here. Not letting you fucking put a pencil point on my dick. Come here. I'm just gonna etch it. All right, gonna etch it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my oh, god. god, he's etching it. <laughs> wait, I gotta go the sideways. Jesus, e -Rock. dude. Wait, can you hear e -Rock, it? You can you hear it bouncing off his spongy cock? <laughs> You're having on camera, E Rock. E Rock, you got his hand on camera. You fucking boob of epic proportions. Right there. That's good. Right there. <laughs> This is the gayest thing I've ever allowed someone to do to me. Yeah, this is pretty gay. <laughs> Not even my... <laughs> I got it. I ah, Jimmy's grabbing the back of his head. <laughs> Uh, Bob's not that. resisting. <laughs> I just I have to keep sketching more because he's getting hotter and hotter no, as I do it. You can't see anything. <laughs> it's just sloppy. And you don't have to have your hand in my pubis to hold it all back. Where did the Fucking Elmer glue food. come from? Oh, yeah, the paper's wet. You know uh, what? No, you can't see it, but if you really look closely, look at it. See? Now you, you don't can need see to it. look closely. Now you can see it. <laughs> thanks for being a good sport. Um, doing that. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, thanks for letting me sketch your penis. You're welcome. All right. All right, uh, dump report, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Live from the Opie and Anthony Show Studios, the Daily Dump Report. Here are your dumps. Fuck. Your dumps. For uh, Friday, 5-26-06. Fuck. At 7-19, Robert Kelly uttered the word fuck and was dumped out of. Don't make this, the, the sad face, Opie. I'm sorry. At 7-40, Robert Kelly said his fingers <laughs> feel like little circumcised penises. You can't say penis? No, no. You can't in the whole contest. Fingers feeling like circumcised penis. Uh, not, uh, it, uh, no, it's uh, not making it through. I'm sorry. Uh, Anthony, and this is the one I, I'm, I'm not uh, taking credit for. I don't want this added to the dump. This wasn't me. This is Than screwing up. This was pre-recorded from our XM show, Attaboy. which we can say shit. I said holy shit to Rich's act at Pick a Bagel. We were on XM at the time. We then somebody burnt it to a disc, brought it over, replayed it, and it slipped through. So that is not me. I'm not taking credit for that one. That's our ex-employee Thin. Yes. Yeah. At eight sixteen, what do they got? Artie Lang's sperm in here? Howard's splooge. Jeff Ross, uh, after touching something sticky in the studio, and then Jeffrey at 821, 
They're whacking off to cloud formations. That's that's a gray area. Yeah, you can't really say that. That's not bad. Awesome. There's nothing pornographic about no. clouds. So. That's not bad. Clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be the whacking off part. <laughs> Should have dumped out of you scratching Jimmy's cock with a pencil. By the yeah. way, by the oh. way, Cody in Indiana. Oh. Cody. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, hey, Jim. You said that Bob tracing your cock is the gayest thing you've ever let a guy do to you. So uh, if Bob uh, puts on a wig and blows you in a car somewhere, is that gay? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Well, touche. Punching out. Bye Bye. the second time. Oh, shit. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's go to General Bam. General hey, Bam, what's up? what's up? Nothing much. I know, Opie, you've been asking a lot of questions about, you know, <laughs> when do the uh, pets uh, listen, when do the non-fans listen. You know, wait, how, wait, wait. How what, what happened? Why did Bob Kelly run out of the Bob studio? Run? Why did our guest have to run out of the studio? Gagging. He's a guest on the program today. <laughs> Scared. What'd you do to did him? Did you fart? Did you jealous of my trophy? And it's <laughs> what do you do to him? Not a cup to fart. <laughs> Dude, your ass is the nastiest. Don't ever do that. So why, you don't want to trace my cock? Shut up. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> don't cup it. Don't, you, dude, he stuck his hand on his ass, cupped it. And then threw it in my face like a fucking smelly baseball. <laughs> it's amazing how you can throw gas. Can, no, I ca I cast a spell. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're oh. the smelly wizard. That almost made me throw up, dude. <laughs> I was voted boy most likely to cast a spell. <laughs> uh, General Bam, yes. Yeah, so I know you've been asking a lot of these uh, questions recently, wanting polls up on you know the message board. So we decided to put together a uh, a long poll, um, long poll um, that had around 50 questions, and all the message boards are participating in this one. It's up on every single message board, and you're getting responses to questions of like whether you not uh, you like to move to CBS. And of course, surprisingly. Um, the, the people who love it far outweigh the bitchers that are complaining about stuff. So we'll have results from you, for, for you guys, in around a week from that. And you guys can find that on any uh, of the, what, five, six message boards that's up there. And uh, also... Wow, a cooperative effort. You guys are actually working together for once? Yeah, it's, 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 on, it's on Whack Bag, it's on Full Blown Age, it's on Wow Fans, it's on Post Wars, .net, you know, wherever, XM411. All of them are... So that way, you know, I think a lot of people get tunnel vision when they're on a message board. They think everyone else from every other message board or every non-message board people feel the same way. And I think this is going to show them that a lot of people don't feel the way they do. And it's just their message board that happens to feel that way. And that's why the show does certain things. Yep. All we, right. We were talking about uh, message boards before, and uh, this this post got me. Did you notice how ELO... This is the whole thing. The thread is called ELO getting fed up. Hmm. Did you notice how ELO used his executive Trump card in today's discussion, meaning yesterday, saying the decisions were his prerogative, which they are, and being decidedly terse with Jimmy? Mm -mm. Opie did not say a word during ELO's explanation. He only chimed in at the end when he said... That the serious ELO was no fun. You th now the speculation. You think the boys may be starting to burn a bridge with all the pitting they are doing uh, with XM and CBS? ELO obviously has been censoring certain aspects for a while. Yuck. ELO is calling in to comment on the censoring of Lil Jimmy's racially charged promo for Sunday's uh, Laugh Factory show. ELO says... Laugh Factory? Yeah, I'm reading it, what he said. Stress factory. He got it wrong. Elo said the uncensored commercial can be played now, but I'm still hearing the censored version. So this guy thinks there's a conspiracy now that we're trying to undermine XM. Uh, we're pitting XM against CBS. JB Louisville, you stink. You're dope. What You're happened? an ass. What happened was, after Elo called in, now Elo does not bust our balls over content. He's a great boss. And we like him as, as a personal, on a personal level. And you know what? He, to be, to be honest with you, he has the programming decisions. If he doesn't want something on, it's not going to be on. Because he has the final say. Like, a lot of times... <laughs> the, um, Sorry, I'm finishing my smoothie. It's delicious. It really is good, isn't it? He, um, Every drop. Now, nah, Elo can do whatever he wants. <laughs> miss any. And he doesn't censor us. And this was one... 
um, <laughs> that was censored. <laughs> and what happened was, <laughs> we went in the other room. <laughs> and we recorded. <laughs> Boring. Another version <laughs> of the original Boring. promotion. <laughs> now, <laughs> the promotion. Oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> <laughs> now, what happened was, promotion was recorded. And then Eric calls in, and he definitely has the ability to take something off if he doesn't want it on. So we go in there to the studio again, right. and we rework it. Quiet. But I say to Steve. Quiet. I say Steve. Quiet. I bring Ben. I go, Ben. Stop it. it. I Stop say, whining. Play the edited That's version. Nice. Stop it, whining. It was my decision. Quiet. After Elo gave permission. Quiet. To play the unedited version, I said. He's a fag. Dick. Out of respect for Eric Logan. Hey, bud, what's your problem? Play the edited version because obviously there's something in there that he's worried about. And Eric typically does not do that. Uh huh. Um, I allowed him. Uh, to, not allowed him. I told Steve and Benny. This sucks. And you know, I this said, sucks. let's just make sure this that sucks. the edited version plays because this sucks. They're, they're good to us here with content. <laughs> and it, it like wasn't. To me, a problem to just kind of play that version. So I uh -huh. said to Steve and I said to Benny, Turn it off. I said, we can maybe just like it rework it. And we reworked it. And we have a, 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 a version that people will like and enjoy. But we didn't want to play the unedited version because Eric Logan <laughs> can normally do whatever he wants to do We're because the boss. And I felt that in the spirit of fairness, there was no like real reason to like to uh, uh, upset him. I didn't want to upset him. So me and Stevie go in the other room, and Benny comes in, and he, Eric's there, and we Shut go. Shut your goddamn pie go, hole. Let's um, we go. Let's just rework you this one. You better get one. your head and your ass wired together, or I will take a giant shit. So on we you. rework the whole thing. Giant shit. But I That's feel that in the meantime, the best thing to do is to play this the edited fair. version because if there's something in there that he's not comfortable with, I didn't want to, to like upset him further because he's been very fair with us as far as stuff that he's allowed and stuff that he hasn't allowed, and I didn't like a lot of times. It's not a matter of censorship. If there's something that makes Eric uncomfortable, I have to respect that because even as a boss, he didn't owe me an explanation. And yet, he still called me at home and we talked for a little while. But my I, my clock got dropped. So show me how you suck a guy's cock. And, show me um, with your mouth. I called him back for, guy's for a little while, but then he got another call, <laughs> and I had to call him back. And I'm like, well, "What's going on?" And he goes, "Well, um, you, you guys talk. know Fancy that I don't censor you." Up. And I'm like, no, no, I know you don't. Nope, Fancy knows it, talk. and Aunt knows Fancy it, and um, Steve knows it, and Benny knows it. Shut and um, up. so we were talking for a while, and he you goes, um, he you goes, shut up. He goes I don't like to censor you. Up. I like to let you do you what you want to do. Shut and then I'm like, all right, well, I appreciate it. And I go, well, I told Steve and Benny, and I think I mentioned, uh, wait, did I mention Eric? I don't know if I mentioned yeah. Erop, but then I go, I, I told you. them to play <laughs> the um, the edited version, and he goes, thank you, I appreciate yes. that. Even Too though you bad. didn't have to do that, <laughs> so it really wasn't a matter of him interfering. It was more a matter of like me kind of like realizing something bothered him ah! and him having been so good to us. I ah! felt it was okay what? for me to kind of what? like just go, you know what? what? This is not worth upsetting Elo for because he is a good boss, and I didn't. You know I what I mean? It's like the guy didn't have to call me, but he now. still did, and, um, and I felt kind of good about fuck. that. So, you know, I mean, we do have a reworked version because I didn't want to offend Would you anybody. kindly shut your noise it hole? It's only about, like, having a good Soon time as I get home, and promoting the uh, stress factory game for this week. That really is all I wanted to do. And yet, um, it wound up being like there was something else going on that I wasn't too aware of here at XM. And so, like, I really didn't want to, like, like you know, cause a problem or give anybody any kind of flack or have anybody get upset. So me and Stevie sat down and Benny came in and e -Rock was coming in and out, but I was working it a couple different different ways I wanted the promotion to get done like I wanted to have my stress factor promotion for this weekend and yet um, I wanted to remove anything that might be offensive whether it was to, like you know Eric Logan or Hugh Pernero or, uh, Gary Hahn, or anybody else that may work there, Don Wicklin or Kevin Straylin, 
or um, maybe the cool guy or like you know Cal Ripken Jr. on the baseball station yeah. or anybody like people from NASCAR or people from so many different oh, stations exactly. that were on XM. I didn't want he anybody to feel like we were kind I of swear, you would think it was the real people. They're very good to us as far as what they allow us to talk about. And Ewok kept coming in and going like, "What's going on, guys?" And I would say to Steve, like, "How's it coming, Steve?" And he would like, "Put that the new Mac in there. Remember, Mars put the Mac in there for you." And so I'm like, dude, this is so much faster, but it gets hot in there, whereas it used to not be as hot, but now it's like really hot. I'm like, dude, what's going on? He goes, well, the Mac makes the whole thing really crazy. And uh, so we were in there for like, what, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes? I mean, it was probably something like, hold on to uh, It was probably something like that. And so like, Elo just called me and like wanted to say thank you. You didn't have to do that, but it wasn't a matter of having to do it. I mean, being the boss, he could pretty much say and do whatever he wants to say and do. And yet he always like takes good care of us. He always looks out for the channel. And like, let's be honest. I mean, at XM there's been no bigger supporter than Eric Logan. So like, the guy speculating on was it OpenAnthony.net or was it Postwars.net or was it Whackbag.com or FootballNays.com? I'm not sure where that guy actually posted. But I felt that you know sometimes like you know you have to understand that you have to pick your battles. And this wasn't a battle, even though Eric Logan told me like you can do what you want to do. I said there's no need for me to fight this battle because Eric's a good guy and he's like a friend. And even though he's a boss, I mean. Being a boss and a friend, it's very rare. But he didn't pull the executive trump card. I mean, he is the executive. He is the president of programming for this company. He falls under Hugh Panero, and he falls under uh, another guy whose name I can't remember, Gary Parsons. But like, Gary Parsons, I think, is like the CEO, and he probably would not have appreciated that either because it was kind of racially insensitive, and we have Oprah Winfrey coming on. Even though Eric didn't say that to me, I kind of suspect that's what it was. But it wasn't like he owed me any kind of an explanation. I mean, let's be honest. Would I have gotten away with that at, at CBS? I probably would not have gotten about that at CBS, even though like none of that stuff is technically an FCC violation, it's all kind of like really, really dirty and offensive on a different level. It's not uh, unnecessarily an FCC violation that you're going to get fined for, but you're probably going to get a lot. Of we need to remember that we are professionals in the entertainment industry. You know, the funny thing is, too, ah! here comes the world's dumbest jingle. At least it's a fucking jingle. I'll show the world I'm a funny guy. I'll throw in some sound effects and a few lines that don't make no sense and open and will be so proud of me. Thank you. I miss the point completely. I should kill myself discreetly. This jingle will serve as my suicide. No, my life's been kind of rough and 18 years is long enough. My dad should have locked the gun away. I got nothing. Let me see them boobies! It's the Opie and Anthony Wow Motorcycle Run, Wednesday, June 21st, leaving from 57th and 6th in New York City at 6.30 a.m. and finishing at Bill's Bar on Lansdowne Street in Boston at 11 a.m. for an after party. For more information, or you know, to participate, we're gonna email to Keith at FoundryMusic.com. Check out the events section on opianandanthony.com for uh, details and directions. And That's Wednesday, situation. June 21st, leaving New York City at 6.30 a.m. and arriving in Boston at Bill's Bar on Lansdowne Street. And argue, and I think we all have to have some kind of flexibility because if you don't have any kind of flexibility, you're never going to have a comfortable work environment. Because Elo has always been really good about that. Holy and I shit. can't even complain. He's been really, Holy really terrific. Shit. And I think the important thing is like everybody works together. If there's like a team effort, then when there's like a miscommunication, was everybody there any, gets together. Was there any and, need uh, to sit through feels this? Feels really, really uh, good about themselves afterwards because there's no Holy way that we shit. should all walk away from that. What? You done? Are you finished? Are you all done, Are Jim? Are you done? Yeah, did you not hear that? I'll repeat it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. Look, I wrote it all down, see? <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony Show. Thanks for checking us out. Bob Kelly in studio. Uh, dumps for the week. Where is it? Dumps for the week, Anthony. Ah. Going to see who uh, has the, the biggest potty mouth every week on the first half of the Opie and Anthony Show, the weekly dump chart uh, that ended today. Congratulations go out to Anthony. Uh, of course they do. One dump for Anthony this one. week. One. And that's when we really pissed him off with Tippy Tom. Well, we were trying to get Tippy Tom to touch him, and he says, <laughs> I'm not. What did you say? I'm not. I'm not uh, effing fu- kidding. Or, yeah, I'm not. But I said fucking. Yeah. I said, I'm not fucking kidding. I will leave if you. Uh, he, was, huh. he was really pissed. He was trying to get that. Because Anthony takes pride in being. Perfect on the uh, first half. David of the Hasselhoff crying. 
Yeah, oh, I know. Finally I saw it, that faggot. It is the greatest yeah. moment in TV history. Cockrider, his new show. David Cock. Hasselhoff crying. <laughs> Cockrider. <laughs> Actually, there's another... I find that very funny. Thanks, Ed. There's another uh, moment from American Idol we haven't played yet. Meatloaf trying to hit a hit a, hit a note, to, trying to rev up that old voice of his. You ever been at a wedding where the guys are on one side of the room and the girls are on the other and they sing, Stop right there. I will be loved forever. And the girls chime in. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. And the girls go, Stop right there. And the guy goes, No. And you hear, <laughs> Here we go. Oof. Weekly <laughs> dump chart. Anthony, one dump. Of course. I'm surprised Mr. Perfect had that many. Congratulations, Anthony. One dump. Thank you. He wins again. Uh, Jeffrey Ross, two dumps. Bob Kelly, two dumps for the week. But he only had one appearance. Patrice O'Neill, two dumps for the week. Tippy Tom, three dumps for the week. Lenny Clark. All in his pants. Three dumps for the week. <laughs> Callers. Gonna have to try hard. Well, I shouldn't say that. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We did it. No. no, no, no. We, Don't do that. No, 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 no. Please. <laughs> Callers three. Oh, shit. That's what you did. Callers three dumps. <laughs> Jim Norton, third place, six dumps. <laughs> That's the noise I make when I get flustered. I had eight dumps for the week. Eight dumps for Opie. <laughs> eight dumps. And I've been in radio the longest. Yeah. And finally, the winner of the weekly dump chart, Dennis Leary, 15 dumps. 15 wow. times we 15. had the dump out Was it the same word? Conversation. Get off no, me, No, everything is, is context. <laughs> it was words. He's saying fuck. He's saying cocksucker. He's talking about fucking and loads. Yeah, loads. loads. Fucking, you know, I mean, it was a body. bunch of just... Uh, stuff you can't say. Stuff you and everyone knows you can't say it. All right, a lot of phone calls. Inbred, what's up? Hi guys. Hey. Uh, I just wanted to take the opportunity to call in and thank you all for the five to six hours of quality entertainment you provide us every day. I think the CBS deal is great, and the show keeps getting better and better every day. Mm. What just do you want to say? Thanks, guys. What do you like about the uh, the new show? Well, I like that. <laughs> Good for him. He hung up. I hate when that happens. DD. Hi. Hi, DD. I'm recovering from surgery and I'm fucked up on dope. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. What kind of surgery do you have? This is I had oh um, they went in my nose and they did work on my sinus surgery sinus surgery. Oh, you, I gonna... wanna get that. You ha when did you get it done? The other day. How do you feel? Uh, fucked up. Okay. Did it hurt? Hell yeah. Can you breathe? No, what I you... have this like hardest thing around my nose for the blood drip. Wait a minute. So you had problems with your sinuses <laughs> and you got them operated on so you could breathe better? Better, breathe better excuse me? and not get as many. I had chronic sinusitis. When are they going to work on your mouth? Sinus <laughs> uh, is that going to affect your voice, like being high like it is? And <laughs> no, my voice will stay the same once the <laughs> once the packing comes out of my nose. They said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I was, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> when are they going to narrow the, <laughs> the pathway from your mouth to your stomach? When are they going to staple oh. your stomach? <laughs> oh, be Stop. Why would you say that, Bobby? <laughs> that's cruel. I didn't say that. that. I, I, I was, I just Bobby, Dee Dee's one of our favorite people. Are you in a hospital, Dee Dee? Might as well take no, care of all the no, problems. I was in the hospital the Why other day. Uh -oh. But my boss took me. Dude. He'll email them to you. What, no, what, man. Bob, what's wrong? Up. Why does our guest keep Bob, leaving? stop being unprofessional. <laughs> I'm enjoying him. Yeah. Of, of course you are. You're doped up. Well, Jimmy keeps cupping farts and throwing them stop at him. Cupping He's it. casting let it spells. Just let it happen. I you guys are. Guys just let it. That's against fart law, dude. You can't cup it. Not only can I, but it's just. Uh, what, what's that, Dee Dee? Um, you know what salad. happened? And my boss took a picture uh, of it. I was like stigmati, and there was blood coming out of my with, eye duct. No dress. Your eye no ducts dressing. had yes. blood coming out of it? Blood. What do you call stig what? Stigmata. In my Boston, it was like stigmatia. <laughs> stigmatia. 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 It's kind of like stigmata with an extra eye in there. It's Dude. stigmatia. I used to live next door to that guy in Brooklyn. But there is blood. Stigmatia. Huh? No. <laughs> Italian sounding. <laughs> um, it's cute though. That was awful. And those are just the people. So what are you doped up on, Dee Dee? Well, <laughs> at the hospital, they had me on morphine. And they also had me, because I, I had an allergic reaction, so then they put me on something else. But right now, I'm on, like, Vicodin. I, I was on Vicodin, Vicodin when I hurt my knee. Yeah. That's a nice that drug. That's a great but drug. But because I've been 12 years clean and sober, it's like I'm, like, feeling it. You know what you yeah, do? Yeah, see? Dee Dee, this is what you do. Crush up the Vicodin and snort it. No, don't tell me you do that. It's, I don't do it. 
breathing in my nose, you sick. Yeah. But is there a drip where you can breathe through? Is there like a little tube you can breathe through? Too bad they couldn't well, pack your mouth for two packing? weeks. Yes. Oh, What's that? Now, no. no, you can't breathe through your nose. They no, pack it. through my mouth. With <laughs> gauze all the way to the back of your throat. Around. They said it was like tampons in my nose. I heard that they can put a tube in there that you can breathe through, too, though. Yeah. yeah, what's the packing? The lower packing has to come out. Then I can. Then that's when the breathing is. It's not going to be easy, Jimmy. I got to get that done tomorrow. Tomorrow? I just want to. Are be you cool. really having cool. it done, Jimmy? Yeah, but I have stress factory gigs. And he's scared. You know what? It's okay. I get scared. You, you're going to do it, but but you, you're at the stress factory. I, I yeah. The hardest. Yeah. It's painful mm. though. Yeah. I don't want to be in there. All right, Dee Dee. Say satin. With satin. 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 Say Australia. 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 I Australia. It's not the same with the shit in your nose. Call back when you're better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dee Hey, Dee Dee, what, what, what is like, what, do you, what was the ultimate goal of getting this done? The ultimate goal. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is horrible. How funny, how funny She's is all dumped up. Poor stuff. gal. When are you going to get that operation on your mouth? <laughs> oh. What? What happened? <laughs> uh, Eric in New York, what's How up? How much packing does it take to fill yeah, a trunk? Yeah, good morning, bro. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes my brain overcomes... It, it overrules... Judgment and friendship and things like that. Uh, sorry. Sinus surgery. Well, apparently you have some hay and grass caught in here. A couple of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to have my ears reduced. <laughs> um, Eric, what's up? When yeah, they want to morning, discharge him from the hospital quickly, they just throw a mouse in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the technical word is tuskectomy. <laughs> she, she's going to get tail surgery. Uh, is she? Uh, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <laughs> All right, why don't we do something for the people, huh? Cleveland man caught jerking in library. Video on Ooh. website. That video would be opianthony.com. Want to welcome uh, Cleveland? Let's see. Let's see. A, let's see a clip of this, uh, this stuff. Hawk. Uh, Twenty-three-year-old Mike Cooper was busted whacking to porn at, at the library in Cleveland, just across the room from the children's <laughs> section. Oh, watch how pissed Mike's father gets when the news crew shows up at his house. Uh oh. Wow, the video's up online. I want to see it. How big is this cock? All right, we got uh, three clips here. How big is this cock? Big cock. Big, big cock. I got a big cock. Big List big of cock. offenses found at the Cleveland libraries. Big cock. Book theft may be the least of the library security problems. Whoa. We reviewed incident reports from libraries in Cleveland and throughout Cuyahoga County. Up. In just the past six months, we found more than 50 cases of violence, Did you? pornography, and sex. A <laughs> patron robbed at gunpoint. A man downloading and printing child porn. Used condoms found on the computer room floor. Uh. Teens having sex on a sink in the men's room. Oh. Teens having oral sex. Male fondle self while looking at a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> Jesus, what's going on? What the library? fuck kind of library? Glad... Any time I've gone to a library, it's been the most boring place. I know. I'm glad I'm they're they... fucking on the sink, though. I'm glad I'm passing on the that sink. on to the you younger generation. Everybody's jerking off, fucking, socking. Fucking, fucking, I can't even eating. write the book with her, Manny. <laughs> her fucking woman is so polluted. Her toy decimal system drawer is so polluted. <laughs> Go librarian. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked her from A to Z. <laughs> the next clip is Mike Cooper confronted by the reporter as he, uh, I guess, was whacking it there at the library. You, uh, what do you look up on the internet? Nothing really. Um, no sports scores, stuff like that. Sports, pornography, stuff like that? No. Why? I don't know why. You tell me why. I don't look up pornography, so no. You ever uh, perform a sexual act at the library? No, I have not. You ever seen a grown man? What if I told you we got video of you performing a sexual act? 
Well, it wasn't me. We can't really show you, but that's Mike Cooper pleasuring himself while watching porn at the Berea Library. Why not? Just across the room from the children's <laughs> section. Take our word for it. Not in the children's his. section. You just reached out and grabbed yourself and started having sex? I, I did what I, I wasn't thinking. I made a mistake. Oh, so we've seen adults looking up the sites and, uh, and actually having sex in the library. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Is that the librarian that's <laughs> su supposed to be in charge? Yeah. I think pleasuring himself is actually dirtier than saying jerking off. But for a library card, I carve him up <laughs> real nice. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to believe my books are overdue because so 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 You guys are fucking retarded. Yeah, it's true. You guys are fucking retarded. We got Matt in Jersey. He wants to tell us how to properly whack off in a library. Ah, oh, good. All right, Matt, what's up? Uh, yeah, I was wearing the fifth jersey on the walkover. But uh, I go to Florida State University. I'm in there for like study sessions and shit for like six hours. So what you got to do, you download the porn, you pull it out, you go in the bathroom and jerk it. How fucking hard is that? <laughs> Fuck, Hello? they're fucking doing, brothers. <laughs> That's great. I want to, I want to join in, but I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm just gonna. All right, the it. final clip. Mike's parents unload on a reporter who is in their uh, front lawn interviewing Mike. All so right. the reporter's interviewing the dude that was whacking off in the library, and the parents uh, unload on the reporter. You live with your parents? Yes. What do you think they're going to think when they see this? They're going to kill me. I don't like you getting in my face Please, either, stop. or my son's face. Please. You are not before me. taking their anger out on us. Your yeah, son doing out in the public, in a public place, exposing himself, and having... <laughs> Yeah. I said get out of here. Get the take that out of here. Now. Oh, you owe me to take that thing away from you and stick it up here. Threatening behavior at the computer inside your neighborhood library and at the Cooper residence. I'm a combat vet. And if you want me to bring my god or to you, you son of a I will. And you won't like it. Wow. Is that Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a combat vet. Watch it. There you have it. The video is up on where? Break.com? <laughs> They're <laughs> jacking off in libraries because the computer's there. I, I... This one is father, too. Well, no wonder he's jerking off in a library. I used to get, like, stimulated in the library when I was a kid because I'd go in, like I said, to the photography what? section. <laughs> yeah, listen. What? The photography section. And, and and there'd be books on photography, and and you'd always find like nudes. <laughs> did you, so did you say throw. stimulated? Yeah, I said stimulated. stimulated. It's from, but I wouldn't it's jack from off. another era. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> jack off. It's not me, right? Oh. He said stimulated. I wouldn't jerk off or nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, but but I'd I'd like get a boner and sit there and just look at the nudity. But and you'd refrain from tickling your own fancy. <laughs> right. Wouldn't tickle my fancy. <laughs> you'd just remain stimulated? Yeah, just stimulated. Until it passed? I would stimulate myself. <laughs> and, and, then, uh, and then, you know, I'd use it later on as like a reference. All right. Why don't I just go uh, to the bathroom? Yeah, when I'd was check. this? The bathroom. It's like a, it's like a school library. Oh. When was this? go in the bathroom. Hey, guys, how you doing? I'm just going to jerk off in here. Works for me. <laughs> I'm Anthony. I've been stimulated. What? You, what what would, you, would you ask? What? When was this? When was this? Yeah, it's last like a little week? house on the prairie days with, with yeah. a single room schoolhouse. That was 1970s, early, you know, 70s. What did you do, Jim? Where's that video? I'm trying to get it. It's well, let's not try. Let's do. Oh. And then it was that. It was uh, uh, some medical books. Sometimes, if the girl's disease wasn't that bad, <laughs> but she had to have all her clothes off, <laughs> you'd have that black strip over her eyes, yeah. so you couldn't tell who it was. But and she'd be <laughs> standing there naked in some clinical like mug shot, and you know, if, as long as it wasn't psoriasis ah. or something. Yeah, so what? She has scoliosis. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's tits on her. <laughs> yeah, scoliosis wasn't bad. You know, as long as uh, as long as everything was in place.
That's really funny. That would be good. It wasn't so bad. You kind of look at that doctor's books, you know. And uh, what else were there? Some art books, but that's paintings. That kind of sucked. You wanted photos. Oh, that's weird. I you had to get it about when you that. Could. There were no know, fucking computers. Come on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You, you had break. to get it. I forget. All right. I jerk off to an abacus. Yeah, good morning, boys. An good morning. Abacus. I should have gotten a Listen, better laugh. Listening. I didn't hear it. It's kind of off the I'm not going to repeat it. I, I, didn't hear what I honestly didn't hear what you said. I'm going to pass and not repeat. What would you say? Even though it could get a laugh. You just say, not, say it again. Not, it was not, good. not in a funny way. No. Say it. Just state it. State it. No, no. State it. Mark. No, I'm just, no, I'm not saying <laughs> I know Jimmy heard it. <laughs> no, I, I heard something about Abacus. Yeah, that's all you had to hear. Cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, uh, it's kind of off the subject, but I wanted to ask Bob Kelly a question about the colonic. Yes, sir. What's up, buddy? How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Uh, uh, shouldn't you notice that something was wrong when she hooked up the hose to, to Eric Spitz? Wow. Okay. We've been here how long? In the crater. In how the long? How is no, sir? Nineteen months. We've been here about nineteen months. That was the worst joke ever. Absolutely. There it's is only no. Old. No. No. I you you try to call something back from yesterday because you thought of it when you heard it on the replay. And I saved him yesterday because I saw it on the screen. I said, "This is so bad. Yeah. I'm not going to go to it." But he was so confident that he decided to call back today. And he, and the way he said, <laughs> er, it sounded like the, Eric Opie, Spitz. I like Opie what teaches people lessons. Of course said, I remember. I'm trying to save your ass. It was, hey, it was hey, awful yesterday. It's awful today. Hey, I was trying to call the day of the show. Could you could you repeat it the exact way you just said it? No, I will not. No, no, because the wording on the last part of it, I'm trying to help you. He you also, try, try it again. Try it again. He, he also w- typed it in the instant feedback yesterday. Did he? Let's, no, no, let's, I don't use instant dude, feedback. Dude, will you There's sh- someone else there. Fucking Let voice. me hear. God damn it. <laughs> stop putting it off our guests. Dude, what? stop with your asshole. Dude, I got scared. Dude, you're farting on me, dude. You're fucking creepy. I got scared, Bob. What, kind of, what kind of asshole are you? He, um, dude. dude, just repeat it. Why? Yeah, how did you do it? I want the exact wording because that's what's important here. Will hey, Jimmy help me out afterwards? No, you, listen, yes. Go try, ahead. Let's try it again. Ready? Just do hey, it. what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, Bob. What's up, listen, dude? Listen, I wanted to find out. Didn't you notice something was wrong when she hooked up the hose to the colonic machine to Eric's pit? Te- oh, to Eric's stink. what? His asshole yeah. smells like rancid. Dude, you know how hard it is to understand the last part of what you're saying? That's no, the problem with the joke. To Eric Spitz. Eric Spitz. Eric Spitz. He was an Olympic swimmer. Uh, his brother. Do it slow, yeah. dude. I cannot understand a fucking word. I understand the whole thing. Let's try yeah. it again. Let's try it again. Ready? Here we, Here we go. Here we go. Just one. Me up. Dude, no. Honest to God. Dude, I'm, not trying, I'm not car crashing. At the end, asking. at the end, just slow down and say it. Be very, you know, say it very. Enunciate. Uh, enunciate. That's the word. Thank oh, you for the big word, fucking Anthony. Wait a minute. Let's start. Relax. Apparently, you haven't taken an acting course. Go. Yeah. Ready? And let's go. Action. Hey, what's up, dude? Bob. What's up, dude? When you took the colonics. What's up, dude? You have noticed that something was wrong. Oh, right, right, she, right. Right. When she hooked up right. the hose to Eric's pits. Eric's spits doesn't make sense, dude. Eric's spits. It wasn't his spit. It was his... E- how, about, how about this? Eroc's pits. No, he's still E-Rock spitting. Spits. So, so what are these spits? Well, Eric doesn't spit. Thank God. Eric's Pits. We got really good phone calls standing by. This guy stinks. No, it's not a bad joke. I just don't understand the punchline. How does Eric spit? What does that mean? Eric spits. Uh, we so all spit, sir. Water. Yeah, what do you say? Spits. What is spits? Spits. Oh, okay. Why does he spit? That's what we're asking. Focus in on what the fuck we're saying. Why does he spit? Eric's armpits. Ah, oh, Eric's armpit. <laughs> You dope. That was a fucking Autobahn pileup. <laughs> he stinks and I don't like him. Trucker Jeff, go. Hey, yeah, man. When I was in the public libraries, they used to jerk off all the time to the breastfeeding books. They had the best. Pictures. Oh, okay, breastfeeding really books. You'd have to be very creative. What would you look at, find, the tit or the uh, kid? <laughs> they're fucking awesome, and they're working, man. It created like a whole fetish for me. Now I'm like totally into like pregnant chicks and breastfeeding and stuff. Can we have a contest? <laughs> um, no. Amongst the the guys here, like uh, yeah. E-Rock will do it. Maybe Danny would definitely do it. Send him to like Barnes and Noble to find stuff that he could jerk off to. I'd be there, dude. Barnes and Noble. Let's let's see. 
Yeah, you can find jacking material there. Yeah, the best jacking be, material book, and, and whoever finds the yeah the uh, the best the jacking hottest the jacking material yeah. book at the at the uh, bookstore. We'll give him a day off. That's pretty good. And we'll Pretty jack good. him off all over the place. <laughs> Why can't we get we'll involved? Jack him off the material. We'll all get together and play cum cookie. What? Why can't we get involved? I bet I can find great jacking material. Yeah, oh, beast. You're actually going to go out in public? I don't know. No. And I'll, I'll go to Amazon.com. Anthony will bring a book called A Germ Free World. <laughs> I jerk off to this. He'll roll, in, off. He'll roll in in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> some, guy, some guy holds up his library card. What's that for? If I'm jacking off? If I'm jacking <laughs> off. You hold both of the doors open so my bubble can fit into the store. <laughs> <laughs> you shake Anthony's world up and snow comes out of the top of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Matt in Connecticut. Matt. Oh. Matt. Anthony. Well, Matt. Matt. Hey. Hey. Anthony. Hey. hey, were those books that stimulated you or were they drawings on a cave wall? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. Was that the hey, same guy? No, not come on. Chris. You've crashed. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Alfie, can you please chew your food? <laughs> I am chewing my food. Uh, well, away from the microphone, please. Why the mic's I... right in front of his uh, my mouth. He's got to talk. He's a radio host. How, how is he how supposed, supposed to... to eat? Well, you know, let little Jimmy speak. You could have eaten your lunch while Jimmy was doing his riff for two hours. What riff? What riff, dude? I was trying to... I don't remember. Jimmy, can you repeat it, please? <laughs> Bunching out, boys. This is the most fucking retarded show ever. <laughs> no, it's not. We weren't supposed to work today. Yep, this is absolutely retarded. Is that a ch <laughs> Darth Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby keeps gagging. <laughs> Jimmy is Jimmy. Morning. Opie, I'm just excited because the weekend's coming. Take care of our guests and let them be part of the show Dude, without having it. to run out. But you get it over here, too. Iraq, Iraq. Oh, my God. Don't blow it over here. What the <laughs> fuck are you <laughs> doing? I don't want it over here. Bring the Lysol. He's got Holy his, shit. Tell him to put his legs down. He's put got it. his legs up like he's giving birth to a... Get it that way. I got to fight a battle now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not on my food. <laughs> If it stops you from chewing. Yeah, let me see. All right. Uh, Matt. Over that way. <laughs> yeah, what's up, boy? Hey. That stuff stinks. Matt. Google, <laughs> yeah, stuff coming out of your ass. It's Matt. Matt. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. go. What? Speak. Hey, guys. Hey. When I was, uh, when I first discovered uh, jacking off, I used to go over to my grandparents' house in the back bathroom of the garage where they used to keep the J.C. Penny catalogs and whack off to the models in there. Why didn't you just wait till your grandmother fell asleep and put your face in her ass? Well, that was option number two. Hey, you, you boys. just want to jack in the daytime. While she lay there and had nightmares about being li laid down at the bottom of the steps. That's what all people dream of. Like, their nightmares have nothing to do with monsters or the devil. It's just laying at the bottom of the steps. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? With a pretzel stick thigh yeah. just broken. <laughs> at around 9.15 a.m. <laughs> and nobody's coming home. <laughs> Mike in Virginia. Mike? Hello. um, uh, Mr. Norton? Yes, Mike. Could, could you just say hello? Hello. To me. Just Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi, Mike. Okay. Get to the point. Okay. All right. I'm getting to the point. I used oh. to jack off the pygmies in the library. You know those books, those National Geographic books. Yeah, National Jimmy, Geographic. Yeah. Please tell me what a cum cookie is. Thank you. We reference this a lot, and people don't get the uh, joke. It's the classic circle jerk. <laughs> well, I'm, I've never heard of the yeah. the cookie or the cracker. I well, cracker, yes. Until but, Jimmy brought it up. But, but my cum cookie, I actually got from a girl I know. She threatened me; she was going to dominate me and make me come on a cookie and eat it. She said, "Make give you a cum cookie." It's not my thing, but it was. Tight. Oh, cool. oh, thank God! I'll tell you the truth. I, I'm open about that stuff. Cross it's not that my. I, that, that's not my <laughs> thing. Cross, cross that one. But it turned me on. It turned me on. That she was such a perv and would think of it. Awesome. But did you come on a cookie and feed it to you? Just the idea of that doing turned you that. on? No, the idea that her, she was so perverted that that was something she thought. What Iraq? What did you just write and give me? He hands you. I give you a free pass a thousand times. He hands you I the funniest stuff. I gotta call you out on this one. Read it, Aunt. No, Iraq. Read what you wrote. Read it, Eric. Read this on gem. Mike. It's called Ookie Cookie. 
What's the matter, Rob? Nothing. It was supposed to be, like, I was supposed to go, hey, what was that called, Jimmy? Ookie Cookie? That was called Ucky Sucky. Mm. <laughs> you fucking so oosh. So was that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Aki don't be such wow. a don't be such an oosbag douchebag. <laughs> this is a, this is a what, foggy comedy road this morning, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shitty character you just. Did. I'm iron tired. <laughs> <laughs> we got an eight show late show Sunday. Your assy smellsies. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, <laughs> saved you. Oof. <laughs> Neil in Texas, what's up? Hey, when I was in college, uh, I met a girl that had scoliosis, and she was pretty hot. And uh, I ended up taking her back to my buddy's truck and doing her in the truck. And it was pretty good, you know, because it was kind of cramped and everything. So she could move her spine around in place. And it worked out pretty good. So, you know, it's not always the retards who have the crooked spines. It's good. You could do them doggy style, and they're always looking at you. <laughs> yeah, she could, like, bend her head back up under and lick my balls at the same time. So it worked out. <laughs> it was like, uh, fucking hey, I got, I got something else, too. When they go to Barnes & Noble. Fucking water bugs? Huh? <laughs> they have, they have, when they go to Barnes & Noble, yeah. they have Jack magazines in there. So tell them that that's off limits. Yeah, it's got to be that stuff. Yeah, no Jack magazines. you got to yeah. be creative. It's got to be a book of the chess section. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know they have like the erotic art and stuff like that in there. Yeah. Tell them not to go. Tell them not to go to Clay Eggs and CDs either. They cannot do that. Wait, what did you say? Who CDs? They cannot go to the Clay Aiken CDs. Who is? Who, tell them those are off limits. Who's Clay Aiken? Is that pottery? What? We didn't hear you. What did you say? Is he an artist or I something? Tell them not to jack off to the Clay Aiken CDs. Who? Who's Clay Aiken? Oh, is he a photographer Aiken. or something? Why would Clay Aiken jerk off? Yeah. Dude, Jesus. what do you mean? Punching out. Jesus. All right, listen. Jeez. Let's go to dugout, Doug. This guy's not getting away without a crash. He said that same bad joke three <laughs> fucking times. Did you, you think it was a bad joke? Stupid ass. I, I thought much, it was pretty good, actually. I'm asking to fill a truck. <laughs> I almost told you who Clay Aiken was. I know. I saw it. You saw it? Yeah. You're almost a bit a ruiner. Dugout, Doug. <laughs> I'll tell you guys. <laughs> That fucking laugh. I tell you, when I jerk off, I love to jerk off looking at the hottest girl on Pow Talk competition on fullblownaids.com. Ah. Final what? four right now, guys. We're down to Hootie McBoob, uh -huh. XOXO05. Yeah. A girl. And, uh. Oh, shit. Who's the fourth? Uh. uh. Kara from MySpace. All right. And uh, um, Travis, Travis, unfortunately, did not make the cut, but uh, we upgraded our servers, so you guys might be able to get on there today. I, I say Kara from MySpace wins. I say the XOXO. I still don't have a screen name or password for uh, Kara. Full blown it. Kara wins. I would vote for Kara. You got my password? You got it. Yeah. Oh. All the girls are good looking, but I, I yeah. would vote for. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, you haven't taken a look at a girl. She's and very good looking. Is, yeah, yeah. Uh, was the uh, first girl that did the uh, pal talk? Guess what's in my pants? If you yeah, we love the first. Yeah, and the Model T was the first uh, mass-produced car. Exactly. Talk. Would you drive it around these days? No. That's right. Exactly. The, and the Negro well, was the first honest. forklift. <laughs> Jesus. I'll be honest with you. She's a she's a story of accomplishment from the show. She uh, didn't like the smashing she got from you guys during the first guess what's in my pants, and has dropped some major. Tell her to stop holding a grudge. And she looks great. She looks great in the top four of the hottest girl in Pal Talk competition. Well, I got you know, you know why I'm saying Kara also. Kara has uh, gone to the two camera shoot. Keep going. She has uh, on uh, Pal Talk. Yeah. Yeah. She has yeah. the camera on her face, the camera on her body, and then she's constantly drinking and smoking. Yeah. Which kind of I think puts her over the top. You like drinking and smoking? No, I really don't. But there's something when girls are doing it like that. I would want to like Does be with a girl that's all hammered and smoking. Believe me, I was married to one. It ain't fun. But uh, when <laughs> when they're on pal talk and she's just chugging her beers and smoking her cigarettes, there's just something about it. I think she should win. <laughs> really? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Travis didn't make the cut into the final four. We're very sorry about that, Travis. But he got a lot of votes. There's something not hot about a girl sipping club soda with a nicotine patch on her arm. Okay, Bob. <laughs> I'm saying the smoking and drinking kind of adds to some. You know, <laughs> that's that Long Island in you. That friggin' Guinea Long Island. Oh, yeah. I like some a fucking smoking hair. and drinking. I want a fucking hair teased up oh, two yeah. feet high. Oh, yeah. I want to meet her down in Bayshore. There's something about oh, a girl I hitting wanna... a jig. 
I want a, I want a chick with fucking French manicure, sucking on a brewski. How you doing? Eh? Nails like fucking talons. Yeah, you know what talons. That feels like on your cack. Scratch my back, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, Doug. Bye, All right, Doug. Doug. When, when's the contest Oops. over, and what do they win? Uh, the contest ends uh, next Wednesday. You'll get nothing and, uh, and like it. Hey, Doug. Actually, we had a lot of people donate prizes, and I believe our very own Bob Kelly was going to send us some things. Oh, dude, i got to send that to you. I'll send it today. We, you never emailed me the address, though. I did. I don't think you did. Always a problem, isn't it there, Bob? Hey, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you send it to my MySpace so I, I definitely get it? Because I'm having an email no problem. I've never heard of it's, my MySpace. It's, uh, yeah, what's your, your MySpace? One? No, no, no. Account. <laughs> My <laughs> oh, it's just MySpace. It's Jim MySpace. Norton. Shut your face. MySpace slash Robert Anthony Cumia. Jim Norton. <laughs> MySpace slash Robert Jim Norton. <laughs> Bobby Kelly. MySpace. Ew. MySpace. R. Kelly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Robert Kelly live. Ow. Ooh. And actually, we have a couple hundred dollars worth of prizes, and uh, they're all basically competed for the first prize, which is a uh, an actual clone of my penis as a dildo. Ugh. Really? Yeah. You put the batteries in it and it just fucking babbles out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then it punches you in the face. <laughs> it talks. All right, it calls other radio hosts nonstop for days. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking, it's a dildo with a redial option. <laughs> <laughs> the dildo with a username and a password. So it's um, it's uh, fullblownage.com, the uh, the contest they're having for hottest pal truck. They're, they're all hot, the pal truck. They're all fucking hot, but I, I would have to go with uh, Kara. And you put the you put my dates like up there Cara. too, Doug, huh? He's gone. All right, listen. Next week, when the show uh, returns, You're back to normal, we're, yeah. we're gonna have Kevin Smith on next week. Otto and George, Kevin Smith coming back again. Good. Wow, really. Bill Burr and uh, Billy Connolly, who just killed for yeah, us. He's great, man. Billy Connolly's funny. I want to go see his show, and I want to go see Lee Evans, who came in, who was supposed to be a really great stand-up man. Yeah. I've only seen a couple of minutes of him. I want to go see Lee's show. Did Let's you go. See Kevin so, Smith. Yeah, yeah he, the director. He's he a buddy. Hangs. Really, yeah, I got him for the show. So, uh, <laughs> so when we're back to normal, that's what's going to happen next week. We got Bob Kelly in studio. We're going to do one more break and get the hell out of here you. for a long weekend. Because I'm You haven't seen any of those? No, I've never seen 3D. I've never seen 3D, good 3D. 3D is really good now. You go to like uh, at, at Disney or you go to uh, never been to uh, Universal Studios. Never been. Uh, they got it down in Florida and you see a Determinator. And uh, I swear, it looks like the shit is coming right at you and something's hover right in front of your face. Really? And it seems like it's right there. They've gotten pretty good with that 3D shit. You still have to wear the stupid cardboard glasses? Yeah, you got to wear the stupid glasses, but... It, they haven't made them into plastic yet? Like but cool, yeah. like It's Oakley's? not the red and the blue anymore. Blue? It's, it's just like sunglasses. Yeah. They are look they like sunglasses. Are they cardboard? No, they're, no, they're plastic. plastic. Oh, they got plastic ones. Yeah. All and right. You, yeah. And then you got to take them off and put them in a big bin when you leave so they can sterilize them for the next people coming through, I'm sure. Did that bug you that so you had to put on? It bugged me because all I thought of when I put them on is Rich Voss's stinky ear cyst. <laughs> and, and how the one of the glasses probably got like somebody's ear cyst. And some of the juice actually popped out. And the juice out. was on there. Right. And then you get other people that are waiting online to go in. Yeah. Please wait behind the line until the doors open and the show starts. And people are standing there with the glasses, the ear part in their mouth, chewing on it. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and it has to be a billion people have worn those glasses before you stick it in your fucking mouth. Would you do that? Would you suck the uh, ear end of it? No. You wouldn't put the, the the end of the the right where the ear goes right into your mouth. I wouldn't suck on something if it came out of a surgeon's fucking whatever they call it. How about, uh, of of the thing. How about if it came Sanitizer. out of the bottom of my ball bag? <laughs> there's a name for it. Sanitizer. No, but there's a name for it. And I Say know sanitizer it, again it. and watch this sail off your head. <laughs> sanitizer. Oh, Ooh, now you got to do it. Now you got to do it. Now you got to do it. Yeah. Oh, what's now the now world coming to? Come on. Well, you talk tough, you don't fucking do it, huh? You talk tough. Yeah. Come on, you're going to make me it. think what I fucking did. Huh? Come on, do it, do it. It's like the best Jeff Norris impression I've ever heard. What? Bob Kelly. I'll throw something off your fat head. Well, then just... Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't fight ex-fat dudes. 
Excellent. <laughs> He's lost a lot of weight. He looks good. Shut up. What? You're a fat dude. I'm not a fat dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Bob talks like he has abs. I don't talk like I have abs, but I don't. I'm not fat. Really? No, I'm not fat. I'm chunky. Shut up. <laughs> There's a difference. You're not fat when compared with, with a blue whale. Dude, you're not fucking... I don't like the fact that you lost weight and you but I did somehow think you're in shape. You're not in shape. You're A-shape. <laughs> You'll never, ever be in shape. You'll always just be mushy, kind of. I don't like the fact that when you're looking at me, there's a big fold in your neck. <laughs> I don't like the fact... Shut your just, face. You're jealous. Middle of the book neck. You're jealous that I have a neck, you friggin' knee chin. <laughs> It's not a neck, it's a thigh under your chin. I don't like the fact that you <laughs> you look like a thumb puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they are throwing some blows. And I don't like the fact that you have a goatee just so people know where your fat neck and head ends and your oh, chest begins. Really wordy? You're a little wordy. You want to keep going? A little wordy. <laughs> I was a little worried. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> we worked out together a couple weeks ago. We certainly did. I really discussed the gym. True, and they made me pay for the fucking exercise bike you broke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Derek in Canada wants to fix the other guy's bad colonic joke. Derek. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, hey Derek. What's good up? luck. Welcome What's to up? the program. Hi, Derek. Hey, it's first time call. It's no one cool. cares, Derek. Uh, Get to it. Do we really give a shit? Yeah. It's your first time? Yeah, exactly. Fuck what what led up to this? Shit, Dick. Wow. Tell the joke. <laughs> you don't understand, though. These callers call in, and they're used to other radio shows. First time caller. Well, welcome. Yeah. And you guys quack, like... Quack, or something. Right. We don't give a fuck. Are you fuck. a ditto head? Well, go fuck yourself. <laughs> we apologize, dude. That is, it's it's kind of hard to come on the show. Who gives uh, a say, shit? Do, let's do it again. You're supposed to say first. Hey, how's it going? hey what's up? <laughs> what's up, Derek? Yeah, I just want to fix that guy's bad colonic joke there. He could have fixed it really easily. Are you a first time caller? Say... First time, hey. long time. Are you a first time caller? Yeah. Cool. Great. Good luck. Welcome long, aboard. Long time listener? Uh, just probably about two months. I got XM about two months ago. Instead of basically good. just for you. Thanks guys. for the support. Instead of wah wah, I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Works just as well. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know, I'm going to fix that bad joke there. The only, the, it was really easy for that guy to fix. All he had to say was instead of hooking it up to Eric's dick, he could have said hook it up to Eric's dick. There's nothing more funny than a little seminal flush. You know what else you should fix? Oh, wow. Hold oh, on. Yeah. Did you hear the end of that one? <sighs> he just trumped the yeah. other guy. You know what else wow. you should fix? How about fixing uh, the bridge of your mouth with a shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, that dude was awful. Uh, <laughs> are you from, I, you know, I honestly didn't think I was going to get a car crash on that one, but hey. Maybe that's a that's fucking like jumbo that. jet hitting a mountainside. <laughs> this dumb Canadian accent's annoying me, yeah. too. Hey, hey, hey you know hey. how he could have fixed that colonic joke? Hey. Hey. If he would have said hook it up to his penis. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey I get a St. Paulie's, eh? Hey. 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 Nothing's funnier than a little seminal drip. No. Yes, everything's funnier than a little that. little seminal drip. Eh? Hey. Hey, they should have put it into a bottle of Molson Golden. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. We Jay. love Canada, by the way. We certainly do, you bunch of moose fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff in Ohio, Jeff. Hey, guys, love the show. Back yeah. to the U.S. of A., and Thank Jeff. You. We care why. Hey, I wanted to get Jimmy's perspective. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, his uh, comedic sense. All right, I'll give, give you my perspective. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a little segment hey. I do. I just wanted to get your perspective on this. There's a girl that I've been banging, and uh, let me give you I my answer right her. now. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, been banging this chick, and I t tell my buddies that I call her my dumpster fuck, and the reason why is because I usually get trashed, and then I throw it in her. So, what perspective what you would you like? Yeah. Uh, How bad that joke worthy. was. Yeah. You know something? I'm not even going to give you a car crash. Oh, you mean like comedian? I think you meant on the girl. You mean on the on the uh, the, the joke? The joke itself, yeah. Well, the thing about it that I liked is that it had, like, it, the reason it was a hidden joke is because it had none of the qualities that normally make something a joke, which would be like humor value or interest to people who are hearing it. No car crash. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. Oh, wow, that rarely happens. That's I right. Pardon in a good you. mood. You left uh, a dirty ring around this studio and we let you go. I'm just going to let him get far enough away and then shoot him in the back. He did kill him, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. John yes, in Detroit. Did. Hey, kids. I'd like to help out uh, Professor Anthony. Yes. It's autoclave. Autoclave. That's what a doctor uses That's to clean right. his tool. And he's going to put it in his mouth. An autoclave. Thank you, Jeff sir. Ohio's a dickhead. Hey, I have a stick clave. 
Well, I'm amazed Anthony <laughs> almost knew that. I was what? trying so hard, but I couldn't uh, the remember. Is... Oh, it's, it's something you take to, to kind of disinfect everything. Shut Why would you ever have to say that? That's what life. it is, though. Yeah. The yeah. autoclave. Right. I know like that. that because what he It's said something earlier. that wasn't in that fucking place right. that she shoved that hose up your ass. Holy An shit. An autoclave. <laughs> something that sterilizes something. <laughs> That's right. I didn't know. I got to get been... that number from you. I want to call and just see if it's a dirty place. I want to see. I did do an air conditioning job once in a place that does the, uh, the uh, fucking is it, is rectal exams yeah. with the big pipe. Mm. The big colonoscopy. <laughs> right. And I had to do uh, uh, air conditioning work in the o actual office. So I walk in there with my ladder and my tools, and I'm going to pop a ceiling tile. And I look in the corner, and like like in science fiction movies when there's aliens and the big glass drum, mm -hmm. there was the pipe <clears throat> sitting there in this thing of water. Just waiting for Just its next wait. victim. And I'm looking going... Oh, my dear sweet Jesus Christ, mm. there is no way I ever want that up my ass. Was it bad that while she was actually doing it, uh, her roommate actually excused to actually walk to the room to use the bathroom? <laughs> See, that's not... Why did she just get on the table and shit like you are? <laughs> she didn't even have a bathroom in that place. Just, excuse me one sec. Honey. Just starts making out with you. Wait, it was two girls? Oh. I tell you, I was, I, I really, ugh. Dude, I want the number of that place. I, I was see. fighting not getting, I, um, there's something wrong that I've been overweight. Yeah. That my penis has, uh, uh, how do I say this? It's, it's just that light. Say it. It's like, say a, it. it's like well, an innie. Yeah, it's, yeah, how did you I know? He showed me. It's fucking. You're getting cock fat. <laughs> it's like uh, Wait, pube he showed fat. you, Jimmy? Yeah, he showed me. It was awful. Well, no, I didn't really shut up. Your fucking—it looked like a little. It looked like one of those little fucking, a, a party Frank. Oh, little cocktail <laughs> yeah. Frank. Well, yeah. Shut up, pigs in a blanket, dick. <laughs> well, I mean, it do grows. You have a fatty, do you have a fatty pubis? Yeah, is a, that what it is? <laughs> I, a fatty pubis, <laughs> and it's swallowing up. I have a nice fat bush fat. I uh, no, it's what happened is I gained a little weight and my uh, the blood doesn't go. It fills up when it fills up. It's maybe on another planet. Regular, yeah. <laughs> but the 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 fat <laughs> around the area is wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said, it's like when a tree. <laughs> hang on, fucking Anthony. Wait, Opie, you, you gained a little weight. I said maybe on another. Planet. He was saying a little weight. He was saying that. Um, I get that, what he's fucking oh. saying. He was saying on the moon, it's a little weight. <laughs> I just didn't want it. It was stepped on. It was pretty funny. Oh, and you're a cocksucker. Oh, gee, thanks. Go ahead. Boy, I get one today. Wonderful. I smell, I smell I'll feel good stinks. about myself. Don't you got to see it's it's the surrounding fatty area that's gobbling up your penis. <laughs> like when a tree eats a stop sign over the years. <laughs> you ever see that? The tree what? grows over and, and swallows it. It's the fat from around your My dick bush, it's your bush now fat. pushing out. It's called yes. your bush fat. Yeah. Bush fat. That's the yeah, technical Right where all the jargon. hair is, it's called bush Doctor fat. Doctor talk. It's actually in so there. Why am I smelling fart? Why do you think? You know because ass be... lips over here. By the oh. way, no bonus show today because Jimmy's farting. That's blame right. it on Jimmy. No, blame it on me. I'll take full credit. No bonus show. Blame it on Jimmy when he's at the stress factory. We didn't do bonus show on That's Friday. right, you yeah. ingrates. That's right. This is dreck. You don't need more of it. Uh, let's go to Drew in Virginia Beach. Drew. Fatty pubis. Hey. That should be your stage name. <laughs> Fatty pubis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making his first Letterman Jesus. appearance, Fatty pubis. <laughs> Uh, uh, Phil is saying that Bob Kelly's cock looks like a balding Chinese guy ducking into reeds. <laughs> Drew. Hey, hey, Funny I, with I the pubic hair. The, the, the greatest high I ever had in my life was going for a colonoscopy. There is nothing like the mix of drugs that they give you before you go in for that. I swear to God, I'll go in every week if I could get that high again. What kind of drugs do you take for that? Some poppers? I, I have no idea, but I just know that it's good. Do bikini teenies? <laughs> <laughs> I want that number, Bob. What do you want? You want to go to this lady? I want to call. I don't. You want to go? I don't think I will. And have something shoved in your ass because you'll completely use it as a sexual thing. No, you know what? And it's weird because she basically had a towel, just a towel, a yellow towel, over my genitals a few weeks ago. Yeah, a yellow towel over your genitals. Over my genitals, and it kept slipping down. Because there's nothing to hold it up there. Slipping down the pubis. It wasn't a towel, it was a washcloth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Old sand dune cock. I like fucking uh, Oprah's really kicking in at high gear with fucking 10 seconds left of the show. <laughs> so wait, what happened? Cock sucker. You, had a little, you had a little thing covering your well, own. I'm going to remember the last jokes. So I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up now. I'm out. You had a little He's thing. He's really going on vacation already. So what happened? You had something covering right. your cock? It kept uh, slipping down? It kept slipping down. And she kept... 
I was on my side, so right. I had my knees kind of up in my chest uh -oh. or in my stomach, as you're probably going to say. And, uh, you know, I felt her holding whatever was in my ass. Uh. And uh, then she, sw she, she put me up on my back. So I was on my back with my knees folded. And the towel kept slipping down then, and she kept picking it up. And it kept like slipping down like, to my cock. Can't stay on your thighs because your thighs are up in the air. Right. So it kept so it's slipping, slipping down. down your... It's slipping down to my cock, and then she kept having to bring it back up over my knees. How about just but it pulling kept... it between your thighs to cover well, up? What, that what, area? Was, I know that's that sexual though. That, she was covering it. Right? It wasn't sexual, but it kept slipping down. So it was kind of like I know she kept. Seeing my sack. You were at a fucking massage. No, 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 no. It. Even she, even for no, money, she, she couldn't look at that thing. She was. <laughs> I, I, it was, it was, it was whatever. Dude, what? Fuck you. Dude. I want to see it. <laughs> you want to see I my dick? See it. Yeah, this is not even a homosexual. I could suck it. It wouldn't be a gay act. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I get a nice size. Because it's got to be a cock. <laughs> dude, you've seen my. I do it. We've banged a chick together. Whatever that thing you're carrying now, I want to put compound W on it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I got a nice size cock. You've yeah, seen no, my you dick. do. You do. We fucking bang under a microscope, <laughs> dude. We bang into all together. You see my dick? It's not a bad cock. It looks like a virus. <laughs> Jimmy was fucking her, and she was swatting something away from her face. <laughs> <laughs> but Bob's cock actually, when he takes it out now, it actually goes. <laughs> <laughs> my dick goes precious. <laughs> Listen. Had to. Dude, my cock, I gotta, what a, Jay Moore says it, I gotta grow her, not a show her. Oh, shut up, oh, you have neither. Boy. Let's go to See, Beth. Neither. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> what, Hawk? Beth. Oh, we got a girl. Beth. Hawk, what, Hawk, Hawk said something, what? What? E Rock, what? Go. What's that, E Rock? Uh, say it. No, no. You say it, you have to. We're... Said it's a void. Nothing there. A void? Yeah. <laughs> You're right there. Absolutely. You mean that part of the studio? <laughs> I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> Thank you. For I bring nothing to the table. I bring nothing to the table. You Talking know what about nothing the space is between his ears? A void. <laughs> I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Ero. <laughs> hey, uh, Beth, you there? Yeah. Go ahead, Bethy. What's your problem? Hi. What's up, Beth? Beth. Beth. Yeah, I wanted to play the What's in My Pants game. <laughs> Why has it come to this? Well, the pictures are being handed out. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you might be able to play. All right. Shit, yeah. I'm going to guess uh, laxative and two stool softeners. All right. Well, she's cute. Where are you from, Beth? Finally, a thin one. Can I see it? From North Carolina. Oh, they're very sexy, actually. On the porch. North Carolina. Yeah, like on, if that porch doesn't say North Carolina. Yeah. If the, wow. Who took that? Your father? Is that a, a car that doesn't run right in, behind you? Um, no. Oh. Yeah, it does run, but wasn't mine. Are there, oh. are there oh. wheels underneath the porch? <laughs> That's the worst porch ever. It's awful. Are you all right? Jesus. Yeah, how you doing over there? Doing good. How are you? Doing all right. What do you do for a living? Obviously um, nothing. Working at Roses. What's, What's Roses? It's That's either a strip club or a diner. <laughs> Just a retail store. Retail store? Yeah. Does somebody have a Very gun old. to your head right now? <laughs> huh? Why? She's kind of a little timid, right? We're going to go down to Roses. i got to get me some furniture. What do they sell, like everything down there? Yeah, pretty much. You fucking call them and yeah. play this goddamn game. It's like a poor man's Walmart, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oh. Let's play the game, baby. What? You got a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He. <laughs> How old a gal are you? Nineteen. Nineteen? How old am I? Yeah. Nineteen. You lost your virginity at twelve, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just assuming. To who? Geography. How old were you? Um, 14. All right. Are you a Baptist? Daddy. <laughs> Who was it? Uncle? No. Cousin. At 14. Cousin. How old was he? 32, right? 57. <laughs> no, 14. No? We went to school together. 14 also? The same age I was. You're blowing apart every stereotype I have of uh, the South and your picture. <laughs> okay. Get out of here, Hawk. Well, uh, you want to play Guess What's in My Pants? Where are you? <laughs> Um, I mean, are you home? In Chapel Hill. Yes, I'm home. Are you You're home. You're in your house. Are you alone at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doors How locked. fast are you driving? Huh? She's <laughs> in her house. Are you in your bedroom? Yeah. I stole Bob's joke. What do you have up on the walls? We did my joke. Um, some Guns and Roses pictures and Jack Daniels wine Jack bottles. Jack Daniels <laughs> and Guns and Roses. And what about your bedspread? Is it the same one you've had since you were 14? No. No. Do you have a buck knife? <laughs> no. 
All right. I'm just trying to get to know you a little bit. All right. Um, uh, are you are you nude? Kinda. Kinda. What, what's 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 what, what's off? What do you have on besides obviously a hockey helmet? <laughs> Got a t-shirt on. It's just a slow way of life down there. It doesn't have. It's not a. Are you a fan of their intelligence? Are you a fan of the show, Angel? A fan, yes. Okay. I'm sorry I said that. Good. How long you been listening? Um, about a month. What's my about name? Yours. Yeah. I believe you're Opie. That's okay. right. That's and, and who are the other guys in the studio? <laughs> and who huh? am who am I? Who are you? Yeah. Oh Lord. Um. Close enough. He's the Lord. Yeah. I am the Lord. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody's the Lord sometimes. No. <laughs> oh. <God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so wait. Op okay, you had Opie, uh, and who else? Um. There's. Anthony uh -huh. and little Jimmy. Little Jimmy. Of course, little yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> I want an award, you know. No, I'm the sweetest boy in studio. No, he isn't. I am. <laughs> okay, we need to um, no. play the song, right? Right? All we right. need to play the song. What's the matter? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> Don't interrupt his song. Never pay attention to Jimmy. <laughs> she's a bore. What? No, she's not. She's it great. It doesn't matter. She, she's, she's got to rub the, rub the phone on her twat. Yeah, dude. She's got a cunt, doesn't she? <laughs> I hope, hope she, she's so. a She's a fucking bore. She's a bore. She's shy. It's her first time. Sweetie, <laughs> have you been on the radio before? No. Okay, that would explain why you're so boring what and horrible. What do you want? No, oh, come stimulating on. Stimulating conversation? Exactly. Yeah, she's going to rub a phone on her twat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, just run through it quick, get it over with. We're not going to get Mensa uh, members playing this game. Yeah. Disappointed her father is right now? No, don't say that at all. She really yeah, is. He's, he's, he's in the room. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, Jesus, Jimmy. All right, let's uh, play. <laughs> it's time to play. It's time to play. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Beth, you yeah. know how the game is played? Um, what you got to do is you got to take your panties and your pants off. Not in that order. That would be a little tough. <laughs> take your pants and your panties off. Mm -hmm. uh, are they off? Yeah. Where are you? Sitting down on your bed? Standing up? What are you doing? Um, laying down. Laying down. Very good. Now take the phone. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me? Ask your father to hold the phone. At <laughs> no, don't be, nice. be, be, be nice to her now. I'm sorry, sweetheart. We're just teasing Yeah, you. laying down is very good because then you get uh, a lot more coverage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you do you have things in your room that maybe you use when uh, guys aren't available? Mm, maybe, but you got vibrator. Just to tell that stuff. You got a vibrator. <laughs> you own a vibrator. No. No. Yeah, you do. No. <laughs> it's in that drawer. Use the bed post. Yeah. Can you? She over. uses a cake mixer. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, you see, take the phone. My limo's outside. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> take the phone <laughs> and rub it up and down. On your most intimate of area. All right. Okay, let's listen. All right. Oh, wow. That's very... That's, that's, that's. <laughs> okay, now uh, side to side, please. Okay. Okay, listen. Okay, now in a circular fashion, slow circles over the whole area. Are you opening up a bag of Doritos? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Let me hear. I know. Let me hear. <laughs> These guys don't give me anything when Slow I Slow circles the good ones. Oh, no. all around the whole area. It's like all around the whole area? Or the area's whole. <laughs> Nothing work. Okay, right. I'm going to say uh, there are uh, four choices here. One is the full triangle. The other one is the landing strip. The other one is the Hitler mustache. The other one is the wood floor, which is clean shaven. Don't say anything until we ask you what's in your pants, until everybody guesses. I am so going to say a full triangle. Opie. Full triangle. Full triangle. I'm, I'm going to get... Hitler mustache. Hitler mustache. She has a landing strip. Landing strip. Full triangle. Full triangle. Uh, Beth, what is in your pants? Um, landing strip. Landing strip. Hey, there we go. Who won? Me, of course. Jimmy Norton. Jesus Christ, how did Jimmy win? I fucking know all about pussy. And look at what Jimmy gets. <laughs> Jimmy gets a trophy for that. That's, <laughs> I already have one. You know what my trophy is? Don't care. I'm the sweetest boy in the <laughs> But I was a little boy. I also won Boy Most Likely to Brighten Your Day. <laughs> no, you didn't. And, and no, you can't. Boy Whose Smile Most Resembles a Rainbow. 
<laughs> Does it? The Wilkerson boy was scheduled to win, but there was a mysterious gas fire in his room the day before. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> he was alive. But yeah. he wasn't he wasn't smiling much. Wow, Beth, that was great. <laughs> Jesus <Thanks>. Christ. <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Flow stopper. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, baby. You hey, too. Beth? Yeah. What exactly is it you like about the show? Um, just funny as hell. <laughs> wow, is that a picture of your boyfriend on your MySpace? Yeah. He fits in perfect there, too, I must say. Jesus Christ. I, I didn't know you were going out with Bo Bice. It is definitely a Bo oh Bice Lord, thing. Oh, he hates that shit. Oh, he must. That's why he keeps his hair and beard exactly like him. <laughs> yeah. You're a nice girl. You want to uh, do anything else for us? <sighs> wow. You want to maybe diddle or... Do you have a big clit? <laughs> mm, no. Is there anything else you want to do? Because there's uh, still 15 people listening to us. <laughs> Could be a couple more than that. That was kind of crappy. Yeah. Is that... 15? No. No. Oh. I like it. I'm going to rub a coffee cup on my bush fat. <laughs> please don't. No, or if you do, yeah. make it Jimmy's Anthony coffee said, cup. Please don't, and he meant it. Why not the coffee pot? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Beth, that was great. Fantastic. Thank you uh, very much, Thank Beth, you. for um, uh, being a fan of the show and playing. Appreciate it, baby. Fans. You're welcome. Goodbye. You guys Bye. are really on vacation. Yeah, oh, on vacation mode Look is... Look at you guys. No, I got some material I want to cover. involved. No, All you right. don't. Come to the Stress Factory and hang out and make some friends. Yes. You still got tickets for the Sunday Late Show, right, Jimmy? Stress Factory? Yeah, about 50 left. New you guys going to come see me? We had a new promo and everything we didn't play. Me and Steve worked for an hour on that yesterday. I'm sorry. Almost. Uh, what do you got, Bobby? Uh, I'm going to be at the uh, Caroline's uh, Caroline's Comedy Club, June 29th to July 2nd. Way to plug it a month early. No oh, shit. Put my gum in your face. And uh, I'm actually... What are you doing in November? <laughs> I'm actually, yeah. I actually got a Brea improv uh, sure. next oh. week. Uh, all right, great. I'm gonna be at uh, I'm gonna be at the restaurant all this weekend. F H Riley's, 400 New York Avenue in Huntington. What's that? What? Thanks for listening to the show. I'm kidding. It's my restaurant with my brother. Can you put our That's new in Long Island, right? I'll be there all weekend. Uh, please. We'll see you Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday.